Hello everyone! Hi hi! Welcome to... Welcome back to the case of the Golden Idol! Except not the main game because we did that last time. It's time for the DLC now. <laughs> hi everyone! Welcome! I hope everyone's had a good weekend. I um... I had a nap before stream and that was a really bad idea. I probably shouldn't have done it because I'm feeling really groggy now. But it's okay, I'll wake up soon enough. <laughs> I'll wake up. I just need a, a second to actually... Yeah, I need to do that. That's exactly what I need. Thank you, Akira. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I need my monster. Monster time. Ah, there we go. This is what I need to wake up. <laughs> but uh, welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome on in. I hope everyone's had a good weekend. I've had a really busy one. <laughs> it's been it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun, but I've had an incredibly busy weekend. And then this afternoon, uh, because it was Xander's birthday, it was Xander's birthday. Happy Bappy. Happy Bappy to him. Uh, we went to the we went to the the cinema to go and see Dune Part Two, and that was amazing. That was such an amazing film, but it was also almost three hours long. <laughs> It was a very long film, and when we stepped out of the cinema, I was like, oh no, I'm really sleepy. And then we got yummy Chinese takeout for dinner as well. Uh, so then I was like, oh no, I'm even sleepier now because I've got a, a full belly of food inside me. I'm, I've, I've had a, a big meal and a long movie in a dark room for many hours. I'll have a little nap. I'll have a tiny nap before stream to refresh myself. I set two alarms to make sure I would get up. Like five minutes after each other and I've I was so groggy waking up I was really bad at it <laughs> see I'm usually okay with naps like for me it's like I can do either 20 minutes or four hours those are like the time spans I can do like if I have a 20 minute nap and then I wake up I'm fine if it stretches on to 30 minutes I I can't wake up <laughs> And the same with, like, if I sleep for three hours, I wake up and I feel really still super tired. But if I nap for four hours, I, I feel fully rested. <laughs> it's like the, the optimal nap durations. But uh, I, I, I just had, like, a 20-minute nap. But I still just woke up feeling incredibly tired. But I'm, I'm feeling less tired now, so I think... I think the nap did help. It's mostly just, like, waking up now. <laughs> But yeah, let me let me welcome everyone properly though before I start talking about sleep too much. Uh, welcome in everybody, Rika. Congratulations on the first. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bree. Hello, Gambler. Hello, Akiri. Hello, Mel. Hello, Tuniflo. Have I missed anybody? If I've missed anyone, please yell at me. LJ Bray. Hello. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, it's like my nap time is it's either twenty minutes or four hours. <laughs> I can't nap for a period of time in between that because I just it I don't feel rested. I just don't get any benefit from it. I just feel even more groggy than before. <laughs> but yeah, it's I don't know. I guess when it gets to like four hours, that doesn't really count as a nap anymore, does it? <laughs> That's just a sleep at that point. But I don't I don't know. I I don't know. It's it's interesting. Also, Nyx is watching. Hello. And Water Guide. Lovely to see you. <gasps> Thank you for throwing a thing at me and for the posture check. It'll help. A big stretch. I gotta try wake up. Honestly, I'm not doing the best job of waking myself up. I'm... I am... I've surrounded myself with a nice fleecy blanket. <laughs> this is not the, the best thing to do to try and actually wake myself up. But I'm, I'm not a sensible person. It's okay. Wow, you're throwing so many things at me. Why? Oh, to wake me up, maybe? Yeah, that's that's probably a good shout. <laughs> but welcome. Oh, and Jack as well. Hello. Thank you for the head pat. Welcome on in. And uh, I guess just for you as well, I will have a sip of my water. I'll have water as well as monster. <laughs> for you. Thank you very much. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Wake me up when September ends. Oh no, that's a really long time away. I, I want to be awake before then. <laughs> Wake me up before you go, go. All right. 
Those are the only... Are the, what are what the Wake Me Up songs are there? Oh, I guess there's like System of a Down. Wake up! Grab a brush, put on a little makeup! I just... I have a way to shake up! Why did you leave the keys upon the table? <laughs> Okay, I think I'm awake now. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> Eight. Thank you. The perfect waking up combination. Just noises and throwing things at me. And then I start singing Green Day and uh, Evanescence. <laughs> the perfect medley. Thank you. And Melamea as well. Thank you for the doot. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Boom. There we go. Oh, I should definitely try Chop Suey next karaoke stream. <laughs> I could do. It would be silly. That could be fun, honestly. Silly is fun. Maybe I should try it. Also, I'm, I feel like my chair is lower down than it usually is. Uh, uh. There we go. Okay. Okay, my chair is back how it should be. <laughs> my chair was lower than usual. That's so strange. I don't know why my, my chair got lowered, but... Okay, I can actually see things properly now. That also helps. <laughs> Maybe it's just I was so sleepy, I just lowered everything. I'm just slouching in the chair to curl up and fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, I had to wake up. Uh, go to sleep, wake up. Step three, question marks. Step four, profit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for today, though, because... A little part of me was like, am I going to be too tired after going to see June Part 2 at the cinema to do a puzzle stream? But then I was like, no, I want to play this. So <laughs> so if I am a little sleepy, I, I have an excuse for it. If I make any silly mistakes, that is my my full excuse for it. But, uh, but yeah, I w wanted to do today because I get to start the DLC. We finished the the main cases in the game. But there's two DLC along with it. It's the the, the golden idol, like uh, the golden case files. How's it listed in the shop? Hold on, I want to double check. Yeah, it's oh, golden idol mysteries. They're launched as like I think they're like meant to be like little mini stories that tie in with the main scenario, but it's like like a little mini game. But it's golden idol mysteries, the spider of Lanka. And there's Golden Idol Mysteries, The Lemurian Vampire. And, like, the one came out in May last year, the other came out August last year. Lyriel 1, Patrick Swayze, Lyriel 1, Patrick Swayze, Lyriel 1, Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Wait, that's incredible. The text-to-speech actually read out Patrick Swayze properly. That's so good. That's so great. Thank you. And thank you for the five-month resub as well. Oh, my goodness. I'm so amused by the text-to-speech actually recognizing Patrick Swayze, considering there's not a space in it. That's pretty impressive. I'm, I'm, that makes me happy. Thank you for the resub, though. Thank you, thank you. Green Day Evanescence and System of a Down is my entire brand. <laughs> it's pure 2000s angst. No, it's it's not angst. It's um, it's specifically um. Emo, pop punk, alternative, etc. from the mid 2000s. That is, that's one of my favorite genres. The others are uh, K pop and J rock. <laughs> my three main genres. It's like I either have like really hype, happy, peppy music, or just. Ah! Good. They're good genres. They're good. It's good music. Oh, next time you should try the ah to see how. TTS reads it. it it'll probably be like ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. hold on I could try that I could try that give me a second I can do this where did I oh, hold on there it is see how that works Lyriel 1 triple A triple A okay <laughs> It's triple A, there we go. Uh, wasn't sure I'd be offended if you called Green Day or Evanescence pop. Oh, I'm not like that. I, I know there's a lot of people who are like very, almost like elitist over genres of music, but I'm just here like, it was it was popular at the time. It was in the charts. I it, it, It's pop. It's like, it's not pure pop, but it's like pop rock. 
But there's nothing wrong with that. Like, pop rock is great. I'm <laughs> it's like, there's so many things where... It's like... I don't know how to describe it without it, like, sounding bad. But there's some stuff that's, like more acceptably like mainstream radio friendly kind of music like like if you think of like punk for example like if you're thinking of like some of the punk bands who who like just blast on their guitars and swear a bunch like you wouldn't hear that on the radio and it's not the kind of thing that a lot of people would like if they're not punk fans they probably wouldn't enjoy it Whereas when when you make it a bit more poppy, you just like mix a bit of pop in it as well. It means more people are likely to enjoy it. So I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I like pop. <laughs> I like pop music. <laughs> yeah, pop punk. Green Day are definitely pop punk. Uh, bands like Blink 182, pop punk. Uh, who else? I'm I'm trying to think of other ones now. My brain is just going Green Day and Blink 182. <laughs> See, My Chemical Romance were kind of like the emo pop punk, but I think their their style changed as time went along. Like their first album's a lot more punk than the rest of their stuff. And then like there's I, f I feel like it's just really hard to stick things in genres, honestly. <laughs> genres can be so broad. But uh, honestly, I listen to a lot of music. I listen to a big variety of music. I think it surprises a lot of people, some of the stuff I listen to, because you'll put my my music library on shuffle, and some of the stuff that happens, like, I'll be listening to, like, Ed Sheeran next to Escape the Fate next to uh, AKB48. Like, there's, there's a bit of everything on there. I like everything. Although we all know the best genre is ska. So true. I do, I do love ska. <laughs> Big ska fan. I still remember I... I kind of discovered ska music through um, the Digimon movie. Because in the Digimon movie, uh, Less Than Jake are on the soundtrack for that. And I remember hearing Less Than Jake, all my best friends are metalheads, and thinking, this song is great. And then I, I got some of their albums and I, I was hooked. <laughs> and I was a fan. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to judge things by genres. There are so many genres. And sometimes you'll listen to something as well and you'll be like, well, it's kind of all of these. Like, you get a mixture and I don't know, I feel like genres can be really nice to be like, well, yeah, I mostly listen to rock music or I, I, I like listening to metal music. But they're also, they can be so vague as well. Like one person says they love metal and they're thinking of like thrash death metal. And then another person says, yeah, I also love metal. And they're more like the melodic, like, power operatic metal. Like, there's, there's different subgenres for everyone. <laughs> Symphonic metal, that's actually the term I was thinking of. Thank you. <laughs> the term I could not think of. But yeah, Symphonic metal is so good. So many great, great artists. I really like, like, super dramatic sounding music. Like, the kind of music that fills arenas. It's very good. But yeah, I, I listen to most stuff. I'm, I think, like, you could name most genres and I'll find something in that genre that I, I would enjoy listening to. I'm, I'm very open-minded with the music. And I'm also not like those people who are like, oh, I'll listen to everything except country because I, I, I don't understand that because there's some great country tracks out there. Like. Like, why are you just dismissing a whole genre like that? Anyway, enough of the music talk. I've got a- I was gonna play a video game, wasn't I? <laughs> but yeah, I, I love music though. Honestly, this ties in quite nicely though for one of the streams I'm planning next week. Um, I'm actually going to do a music stream where I'm going to try and make music on stream. I've gotten a bunch of programs. I'm gonna check out like what is it, like Chrome Labs or something? Where you can just like make like MIDI block music. I'm just gonna try a bunch of things out, but I wanna do a music stream. We can just, we're just vibing, making music. So that's that's my plan for next Tuesday. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> but uh, I've, I've got a, a few things planned, a few like 
ideas for what I can do. And I do also have a recorder and an automaton, if all else fails. So I'm gonna make something. I'm gonna make some kind of music. We will see if it's good or not after the stream. <laughs> also, Lumsav, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome, you have not missed anything yet because I got distracted talking about music for 15 minutes, as I always do. <laughs> welcome on in! Ah. Anyway, let us start the new game of The Spider of Lanka. Me and my hipster very cornering you in the record store to talk about genre. That's the opposite of what I would do. Someone starts talking to me about genres like just now and I'm just like, well, I don't know that the, it can be anything. There's a lot of stuff. I'm, I feel like the, the kind of people who would like corner you in a shop are the, more the types who are like, well, you can't call this punk because it's clearly been influenced by mainstream radio or whatever. <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, back to video game, I think. And, uh, Evie? Where did Evie come from? Sorry, where, 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 where did Evie come from here? Why are we talking about Evies now? Either way, I, I, wanna, I wanna start the Spider of Blanca. I've been putting it off enough. I'm ready to begin. I'm so curious to know what these are. Eight. <gasps> Wait, you're so right. Yeah, there's eight evolutions. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Excellent. Eight. Oh, I thought I'd broken the soundboard on my. <laughs> I thought I broke the soundboard on my thing because I was pressing the eight button and nothing was happening. I wasn't pressing the eight button. I was pressing a button that's not bound to anything. <laughs> That's why the eight didn't happen. Eight, <laughs> it's that button. Eight, eight. That's the eight button. <laughs> oh, uh, I need some more monster, I think. I think it's time to... Hold on. Mm -hmm. There we go. Right, and let us continue the spider of Lanka. Also, gambler, no. <laughs> Just please read the stream rules, no. That's not appropriate, thank you. Right, Spider of Lanka! Right, these ones are just... Three. There's three ones for each of the DLCs. So, I don't know how long they'll take. Because a lot depends on the case itself. Like... Yeah, I don't know why my, my model's so frowny at the moment. Hold on, I might, I might try and, like, reset it. I'm gonna look weird for a second. Now that I've moved my... <laughs> I moved my 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 chair and now and now everything thinks I'm frowning. I'm not. I'm so happy. Uh, ignore how silly I will look for a second. I didn't actually look silly at all. I was just staring into the distance. Hello. That's better. I think. Yeah. I think I fixed it. <laughs> I don't want to be frowny if I'm not frowning. Yeah. That's fixed it. Fabulous. Yeah, but, although I do like the very serious drinking. Let me see if I can, like, do that again. Oh, that one was more, like, dazed drinking. Like, like I was totally zoned out there, just like, ugh. Anyway. Righto. Yeah, that's, that's me. I'm just a competitive monster drinker. <laughs> yeah, I was just staring off into the distance. I was amazed at something who knows what probably this but yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to this because i have no idea what the spider of lanka is and i'm really excited to find out but uh the fact that there's only three chapters i was immediately like oh these will probably be shorter then but then i remembered how in the the base game like i'd finished some of the levels in 10 minutes and then others would take an hour Admittedly not because of the puzzles, but because I would end up talking about taxes and stuff <laughs> and payday loans. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how long it takes. Um, I'm already just looking at these thumbnails. I'm excited. <laughs> this is going to be good. Um, well, maybe not good. Maybe good is the wrong word for it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. 
Let's start. Oh, no, let's start with the... Is this the spider of Lanka? This... The statue with the arms? Arms and legs? Let's see. Ooh. This must be the place. We're gonna... Are we gonna play... Pa... Pajak? I wanna play Pajak. Let's play Pajak. The Spider of Lanka. It is the name of this DLC. I don't know what it means. But we'll soon find out. The Spider of... Lanka Lee. From the cross, sorry, no, that's... <laughs> what is, what is Pajak? I don't know what Pajak is. I don't know how to play Pajak. But I'd be interested to know. I'm guessing this might be Pajak. It's happening in a, like a Pajak parlor. Unknown card game. Let's, let's go in. Here we go. Golden Idol Mysteries, the Spider of Lanka. The overly enthusiastic card game tournament in the Yellow Lily. Interesting. Ah. <laughs> Overly enthusiastic indeed. <laughs> maybe, maybe a... Uh, yeah, that, I think things got a little out of hand here. Right, where should we start? Oh, let's start looking at the cards. I'm curious. Oh, okay. Okay. So... I'm guessing these are the Pajak cards, and we've got an archer, a boar, a centaur, and a peasant. Are these going to be rules for the card game? I'm going to have to figure out how to play the card game, aren't I? I think I'm going to have to figure out how this card game works. <laughs> right, let's get all the clues before we start trying to figure things out, though. But, oh, I'm excited. Oh, for a split second, you forgot what kind of game this is and your mind wandered to the dramatics of Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> oh, I love watching Yu-Gi-Oh! card games. Like, when uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel first came out, I had so much fun watching people do matches in that, just because sometimes it was so ridiculous. Like, people would take so long for a single turn, and then the other person would play and it would be immediately done, and then then people would win in like two turns I, I've seen some people win in one turn too which that seems really cheap to me <laughs> like, like the fun for card games for me is when it's more like evenly matched I feel like I would just get annoyed if I started a card game and someone just won in their first turn like it's I don't know but some people like it I guess it makes them feel powerful <laughs> but uh but yeah Z Xander's he got really into the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel for a while as well. He's he's better at card games than me. I, I often play card games with him in the past, but I'm just I'm just really bad at thinking ahead. It's why I'm no good at things like chess as well. I know how to play chess in theory, but I can't think ahead. And also, if I plan something out and then someone does something that's not part of those plans, I get stuck and I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's why I specifically like puzzle games over strategy because strategy involves a lot of like having to rethink what you're doing and like work around what you're doing. Is the, is the music a little bit loud for anyone else? I'm gonna turn it down just a tiny bit. There we go, more background music-ish. Hee <laughs> hee. But yeah, it's uh, I, I'm no good at strategy because I I can't think ahead. And if my plans go wrong, then I can't make new plans on the fly. I just kind of fumble and don't do very well. But puzzles always have an answer. It's why I like puzzle games. Like there's always a way to get to the answer in a puzzle game. And most of the time that, that answer isn't going to change. It's like once you've figured out the answer, you have it. And that is the answer. And that's, that's why I like puzzles. <laughs> Oh, this music's amazing, though. What the heck? Listen to this. This is so cool. Oh, you were just going to say the music was too loud. Yeah, I was... 
I was realizing as I was having to raise my voice, like, why don't I just turn the background music down? It's so strange, because sometimes the music will be fine, and then another level, it'll, it'll just be deafening. Also, Cosmic Orca, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. You're here just in time. I've done nothing. <laughs> no, I tell a lie. I've looked at a, a card game on the table. But welcome, welcome. Yeah, like the DLC music more than the base game. Yeah, this is this is amazing. I'm excited to listen to the soundtrack afterwards. Uh, I've been playing a lot of games with really good soundtracks recently. It's very nice for me. I get to I get to fill up my video game music playlist with more tracks. Like playing Outer Wilds has been so fun. And one thing that I was really happy about with Outer Wilds, I I found out that the DLC soundtrack is a different like CD on Spotify to the base game so I could listen to the soundtrack without worrying about like being spoiled for music in the DLC. <laughs> I really like when that happens. But yeah, I, I've been listening to the Outer Wilds soundtrack a lot. It's just like background music while I work. It's it's comforting somehow. <laughs> but yeah, this is so cool though. I, I wasn't expecting the vocals. I got surprised when the vocals kicked in. Right, anyway, let's look at this table. Okay. We've got another hand here. I wonder what this means. I'm so curious. Oh, and no! Hello! Thank you so much for the reason. 38 months. Oh my goodness, that's so many months. Thank you so much. Hi, Noi. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. I'm, 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 I'm the dog Tibby today. Hi. Welcome. And Vicky Amaru, hello. Welcome in as well. Welcome, welcome. Oh, oh, Gambler, do I have a favorite game OST? I, I don't. I wouldn't be able to pick just one favorite. I, I have so many, there are so many games I've played with amazing soundtracks. I could not pick just one. But, uh, if I have to pick, like, some of my favorites, I feel like Persona music never goes wrong. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, absolutely incredible soundtrack all the way through. Especially, like, the boss themes. The boss themes in Final Fantasy XIV are so good. Uh, which Persona? Uh, all of them. All of the Personas. I love them all in different ways. I like how every, like, Persona game has its own kind of soundtrack. I guess mostly starting at three, they, they got more of, like, the, the individual flavor for each game. But uh, I really love the soundtrack for that. Like, Shoji Meguro is such an amazing composer. And recently, Outer Wilds, like, the Outer Wilds soundtrack is so perfectly done. Uh, I really like the soundtrack for the Katamari games as well. Katamari is just... Katamari Damasi. Uh, every single song. Even... There's some songs on the Katamari soundtrack where I'm like, I hate this song. It is noise. I despise it. But whenever it's on in the game, I... I I don't skip it, it just works for the game. <laughs> but then it's also just got some amazing tracks that I choose to listen to in my spare time, too. Also, one of the Katamari games had Idolmaster on the soundtrack, too, so that, that was fun. That was my, my first taste of the Idolmaster, was listening to Danketsu on beautiful Katamari for the Xbox 360. <laughs> ah, good times, good memories. Oh, for you, uh, either Dark Souls 3 or Omori. Those are those are two soundtracks I have not listened to, to be honest. Omori is a game I keep meaning to play. I backed the kickstart of that about 500 years ago, and I'd forgotten I backed it by the time the game came out. <laughs> and I still haven't played it. I need to play it at some point. I will play it at some point. I just have too many games. My list is too long. Oh, Diablo 1 and 2. Yes. Oh, and Witcher 3. Oh. Ah, oh, so many good soundtracks to to check out. Oh, one one thing that really surprised me. Um, I was I was just going through soundtracks for games I played recently, and I found that the soundtrack for the Pedestrian was on Spotify, like the the puzzle game where you're just in the street signs. The soundtrack for that game is so underrated. It's so good. It is. They are such good songs. <laughs> 
It's a really good soundtrack. But yeah, there's there are, there are so many amazing video game soundtracks. I love them. I also love the soundtrack for Hades as well. I've not played much of Hades myself. Uh, it's it's the kind of game where I think if I did start playing it a lot, I would have a lot of fun with it. But I just haven't started it. I've mostly just watched other people play Hades because they're actually good at it. <laughs> But the soundtrack for Hades is really, really good. Right, before I get too sidetracked again. Right, this has got something spilled on it. It looks like a plant pot, so I was going to say dirt, but it looks more like ink. I think that's more like ink has been spilt in here. But this one has not been spilt, and it, it's kind of like a silhouette of... It reminds me of like a woman holding a baby. I don't know if that's just me. I'm just imagining things here. Also, Luna, hello! Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Gotta start with Bastion. I should do. Oh, I'm so mad. I I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, but when when Hades first came out, uh, Xander got me with a D's Nuts joke. Because he was, he was, we were talking about video games and he was like, oh yeah, and there's like that, the other game as well, like the, the underworldy one, it's by the, the Bastion de devs. And I was like, Hades? And he just went, Hades nuts. And I, I was so mad. I was so mad that I, I was, that he got me with that. Like the fact that I genuinely thought he would have forgotten the name Hades, like, <laughs> I, I, I was mad at myself because there's no way he wouldn't have like remembered the name Hades. And he was like, oh yeah, the, the underworld game, the Bastion Devs. Like, so mad. But <laughs> thank you for the Xander the Santa command. But yeah, uh, it's alright. He, I, I get my own back on him. That's what the uwu voices are for. Although he's, he's discovered a new thing recently that really annoys me, which has been a lot of fun. Um, anyone who's seen the Family Friday streams where we're playing Baldur's Gate 3 will know how awful his inventory is. Okay, I guess we're not saving it for Friday. Hi! I guess I'm explaining this in uwu voice, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the uwu voice, hi. So basically, his inventory is a mess. It is horrible. He drags things into horrible places. It is not neat. You can't find anything, and I asked him to fix it, and he made it worse. Well, he has now extended that into real wife. <laughs> real wife, I, I real life. I can't, I can't even make Uru say that. I didn't really. But he's, uh, we got a, a massive box of Ferrero Rocher chocolates, like the hazelnuts with chocolate. Uh, he's now discovered. How much it annoys me if he takes random ones out of the middle and leaves the whole tray as a mess and then turns some of them on their sides and then leaves the packet in some without chocolate. It is horrible and I refuse to look at the box anymore because he makes it such a mess. <laughs> We're always planning. But yeah, he's he's been finding a lot of joy in making things uneven around the house. He's been doing it with his drinks cans too. Like we keep our drinks cans in the kitchen and we stack them up neatly. I stack them up neatly. He moves them around. So they are not neat at all. <laughs> and it's so painful, it's the worst. Yeah, the sideways ones got me the most. <laughs> like you literally turn them on their sides. And I was like, Look, just, just taking ones out of the middle, that's annoying but understandable. Just tipping them on their sides, he, he's doing it on purpose. It's, that is, that is like a, an active, look at what I'm doing, especially to annoy you. <laughs> it's so painful. But it's like, it's really funny though, because we're not the type of people to do that anyway. Like if, if we have like a chocolate from a packet or something, we're not the types to like leave the packet in and just take the chocolate. He literally is only doing it now because, because I, I asked him not to. I, that's the whole reason. <laughs> just little sibling things. But it's so funny because I actually like rearranged them all. I put them back in order. And the next time I checked, he made it worse. 
I actually, I think the first sideways one was actually after I neatened it the first time. Like at first he was just taking them from random spots in the middle of the, the tray. I put them all neatly again. I came back and some of them had been tipped over. <laughs> so now I know I'm, I'm not allowed to fix it. I just, I'm just gonna leave it. I just don't look at it. Honestly, that just sounds like an extravagant form of art. That's what he said. He said it's. He said it was art. He, he claimed it was art, and I was like, okay, I will not touch your art anymore. <laughs> it's so funny though. Oh yeah, what if I just made it more of a mess? Maybe he would then neaten it up. <laughs> just a, a bit of reverse psychology. Anyway, we have another game here, another hand of cards. So we know the the four cards that are used in this game but not any of the other rules. So we're gonna have to figure that out as we go along. Oh! Oh, we've got the rules here, okay. Okay, first game, blue one. So we know that a boar beats a peasant. In the second one, yellow one. So we know that a centaur is more powerful than two archers. And then in the third one, blue one again. So an archer is stronger than a boar. We've got, I think we have all the information we need here. So basically, the centaur is strongest and then it's the archer then it's the boar then it's the peasant good to know good to know we don't know exact values but we know are we writing this down no i'll, I'll just do it in the thinking tab afterwards i'm just like thinking out loud at the moment but uh that's that's what the the thinking panel is for i'm not gonna take too much of a look at it until i've gotten all the clues but it's really nice it's like a really well-made system for piecing everything together. It's so good. It's part of why this game has been so fun. Just the moments of, like, figuring things out. Right, let's start with the people who are not dead or knocked out. Over here. Oh, look at the animation this time. Hi. Okay. Let us leave this unsavory watering hole. You do not appear to have sustained any serious injury, but perhaps a stiff drink will help settle your nerves. What is that? A blue rosette? We've got a note. Oh, Dr. Oberon Geller, surgeon and hypnotherapist, Island of Lanka. Okay, so you're a doctor. Right, can I pick up any of these? No, I can't pick up any of those, okay. And you've got an empty pistol and a loaded pistol. You've got a surgical kit and a stiletto with a clean blade. Okay, so it doesn't look like you did any stabbing. You did shoot your gun. It's very possible it was self-defense or to defend the people in here. Over here. What in the blazes? They're all dead. Thank you for saving my life, kind sir. Okay, so the the bullet was shot to save your life. All right, you've got a yellow rosette. And here, ooh, my dear Zubiri. Upon my arrival in just a few days, we will depart Jampapur together. While you await me, I beg you continue to apply yourself to your studies. As Lemurians, we may be held in high regard in Lanka, but we must not become careless and besmirch the Kera family name. Okay, so this is Zubiri Kera, and this is Oberon Geller. And we're in 1741, okay. Are you skilled at Pajak? Test yourself and win money in this grand tournament. June 11th at sundown at the port in the Yellow Lily. Here we go. Okay, oh, yellow lily card house rules. One, broke something, pay for it. Two, too drunk to play, get out. Three, lost all your money, game over. We're getting loads of words from this one, nice. Four, someone cheated, sort it out yourself. Five, the management accepts no liability if you decide to play against Bill. Who is Bill? Is Bill good at, good at Pajak? <laughs> Lemurians. I like to move it, move it. 
Right, let's see. Oh, I think this person's alive. Yeah, this man, the man is asleep and appears to be completely drunk. How drunk do you have to be to sleep through whatever happened in here? Like, actual gunshots going off. Wow. Uh, when drawing lots for match pairings, arrange it so the newcomer plays against the best player here. He wants to test his skills. Okay. Okay, you also have a yellow rosette. Stiletto with a clean blade. Clean sword. Almost empty flask of rum. And over here, June 8th, uh, it is crucial to our operations in the South Seas to secure trading fortresses in the Lanka Archipelago. Re regrettab re uh, regrettably, Lemuria continues to object to it and advises the local rulers against our presence. Well, we know about Seven Seas. China get operations in the, the South Seas here. Uh, the Lemurians cannot project their power directly, but they still have the spiritual authority in the Lankan kingdoms, which used to belong to the now crumbled Lemurian Empire. The Lemurian influence on Lanka must be broken. Cooperate with our agents in the region. In particular, mage, widower, and doctor could prove useful. Doctor? Doctor? Remember that your reward for a job well done will be enormous. SSC. Seven Seas Company. Company, probably. Nice. Right. How about you? What happened to you? I think you got stabbed. Yep. The man is not breathing and has a harpoon sticking out of him. Also the yellow rosette. I wonder if the yellow rosettes are linked to the yellow lily. Considering this is... This is the port in the yellow lily, apparently. Maybe all the yellow rosettes are because they're, like, the regulars here, like... Locators? What is this? Like a scepter? Oh no, a huge and bloody mace! Okay. Okay, that makes sense. And we've got a note here. My strong friend. Join me tonight for the Pajak tournament at the Yellow Lily. Bill will be present. So long as he wins, however, he does not become crazed. Please bring Gabriel as a precautionary measure should Bill lose his temper. Oh... So is Bill the best player here? Who then played against the newcomer, lost, and went into a crazed frenzy? Ooh. Ooh, interesting. I want to believe they're just big fans of the flower. Well, no, this place is called the Yellow Lily, but the, the rosettes themselves don't look like lilies. It's just a rosette. <laughs> I was just thinking because of the color. But it is true, it could just be a, a, a nice, fashionable statement piece. Right, how about you? I like this hat. The man is not breathing. Oh, head wound! Head wound, the mace, the mace with the blood on it. Here we have a katar blade. We have chakram throwing blades. And we have a sword, and this is a blue rosette. So I wonder if this could be Gabriel. If the note here, because this note is from Oberon, who's over here, and we know Oberon has the blue rosette. So if Oberon is related to Gabriel, I don't know, maybe not. Either way, it looks like you were hit in the head. Right, who are you? The man is not breathing. A long rapier is stabbed in his back. He's also holding a knife. Also the blue rosette. We gotta figure out what these rosettes mean. Oh, maybe, wait. I'm silly, maybe it's just teams for the tournament. It may just be a team thing, like a red team, blue team for the cards. Never mind, that would make sense. Right, what else have you got? Uh, a half empty flask of rum? A, n a necklace made of human ears? Oh, I'm sure glad I don't have those. Uh, a loaded pistol, so that's not been shot. A big and slightly bloody knife, the blue rosette, and a note. Quartermaster, this time I will beat you in Pajak. Get your crew and we shall play in the eight-player tournament, Yellow Lily. Over on. Okay. Yeah, so if it's an eight-player tournament, that, that means there's 
eight blue and eight yellow. And whichever team Bill was on was probably the losing team. If this situation was because of Bill becoming crazed, which it still possibly might not be. Right, over here. Uh, the man is not breathing. Got a clean dagger, a yellow rosette, a clean Navaja knife, and Oberon wants to embarrass himself again. Round up Sri and Reuben from the ship and meet at the yellow lily at around 10. Right, so yellow rosette there. Almost empty flask of rum. They're all drinking rum. Did blue team win then? Hmm. Oh, one of the throwing... Ah! Yeah, one of the, the throwing blades. Okay, the, the chakrams. Uh, blue rosette, stiletto with a clean blade, a dagger, and a poignard knife. What is a poignard knife? Hold on, what is that? I have not heard of a poignard knife before. I, I presume it's pronounced like that. It may not be. I'm just thinking of, like, poignant. I'm getting my dictionary out. I'm curious. It's not in my dictionary. That makes sense. I'm going to quickly Google that. Poignard. A poignard? Oh, it's French. It's a long, lightweight thrusting knife with a continuously tapering, acutely pointed blade and a crossguard. Historically worn by the upper class noblemen or members of the knighthood. Ooh. That's good to know. Oh, you got it for me. Nice. <laughs> That's the exact page I just found. The, the Wikipedia page. Thank you. I didn't even have to Google it. But nice. I've not heard of a poignard knife before. I've learned something today. But yeah, I kind of guessed by the, the coat as well, and the, the general attire, that probably a little more upper class than the rest of the people here, possibly. Alright, what else haven't I looked at? Oh, there's a blackboard over here. Pajak tournament card. Okay, all the names are here. Carlos Luna against Oberon Geller. Uh, Oberon won that one. We've got Sri Thaisen against Pandula Senebi. Uh, Sri Thaisen won that one. Uh, Ruben Hendricks versus Gabriel Hubert. Uh, Ruben won that one. Bill Price against Zubiri Kera, unranked. Oh, that's the newcomer. Bill versus the newcomer. I think it's true. I think what happened here is the newcomer came in and said, I want to be challenged. Got challenged by Bill, the the best player here, because he said like he wanted to he wanted a real challenge. I think Zubiri won, and Bill got really mad and started a kerfuffle because none of the games have continued after these. We got the first three games, and then the fourth one did not finish because I'm guessing Bill did not win. So the question is, which of these is Bill? That's what we need to find out. Right, I've got all of the clues now. We've got all 39 words here. So it's time to start thinking. Oh, this is gonna be so funny. Who killed whom chronologically? <laughs> we need to figure out what happened here in order. Right, oh, well, we can start with this one. Order the Pajak card starting with the strongest and ending with the weakest card. I did that. I already did that from the beginning. We know it's Centaur that's the strongest, then it's Archer, then it's Boar, then it's Peasant. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Right, and we also know this is Oberon, Oberon Geller. And this is Zubiri Kera. This is the newcomer. He's the newcomer who came in and said he wanted to play against the best player. Right, so I'm guessing this is the match where... Right, because you, you're, you're on the yellow team, so if blue lost here, 
Uh, blue loses that one. Blue loses that one. Yeah, blue lost that one. So we know that Bill has a blue rosette. <laughs> so one of the ones with a blue rosette, that's going to be Bill. Oh, him. We know this is Bill. Uh, this time I will beat you in Pajak. Hmm. And fighting words. I just wanted to say. Uh, Bill will be present. So long as he wins, however, he does not become crazed. <laughs> just, I love that it's just addressed to my strong friend. You're on the yellow team. But drawing lots. Okay. So all eight people are here. All eight people for the tournament. This is everyone who was taking part in the tournament. So we can figure out who this is because we know you're yellow and you did not move from your game. You did not move from your match, so this was your hand. So Archer beats Peasant. Would two archers beat two boars? We don't know. Wait, an archer does beat a boar. Yes. Yellow wins, yellow wins. Blue wins. So that was yellow, yellow, blue. So yellow, yellow, blue. Uh, that's Reuben Hendrix. Passed out guy is Reuben Hendrix. <laughs> we can figure it out from the results. Boop, boop, boop. And we can probably figure this out too. Like if these, if these two are doing their match here, then this was their game and we can figure out their names as well. <laughs> yeah, they all have really nice weapons here. There's a lot of very nice weapons. <laughs> right, so yeah, because you're yellow, you're blue. So I think these two didn't actually move from their seats. I think this was their match. So we can figure out here. Okay, two centaurs. Uh, that's a yellow win. A blue win. A blue win. That's yellow, blue, blue. So that's going to be this one. So the yellow is going to be Pandula Senevi. And the blue is going to be Sri Thaisen. So this one is Sri Thaisen. Da, da, da. Oh, Thaxon. Thaxon. I can't even read properly. It's okay. And the other one is Pandula Senevi. Okay. I think, I think this is the way to figure out the names. I think seeing what's going on here, like, you have throwing chakrams, so you don't have to get up from your seat. We already know you threw one across the room. And I don't think he got the chance to get up very far. <laughs> so then I guess were you the one who was against him then? If you just fell out of your seat here maybe. Maybe. Because that would mean that you are Gabriel Hubert. Oh yeah because the note was saying like please bring Gabriel as a precautionary measure should he lose his temper. Like if this is like a higher up nobility like someone in charge who can say hey you're in trouble now that would make sense if that's Gabriel Hubert let's try it <laughs> nice so I think these two are the ones from the other match then wait but one of them's gonna be Bill Oh, well, no, we know Oberon, so we need to figure out who's against Oberon. Which one was against Oberon and which one was against Zubiri. So we're finding out which is Carlos, which is Bill. Right, so if, if you stayed over here, we know this is a blue-yellow-blue blue win situation. So that's going to be the first one. So if this is Carlos Luna, then that's got to be Bill. Luna. 
and Bill Price. Look at that, yes. The process of elimination. So we know this is Bill. So Oberon was like, provoking him. Right, they were on the same team. They were on the same team and he was still just like, I'm gonna beat you. Wow. Okay. Although I guess maybe the, the teams were just for like the initial matchups, possibly. They were still different ones. Hmm. Very interesting. Anyway, let's go back to here. I love, I love this. Just who killed whom chronologically. Oh, two centaurs versus two boars just seems like overkill. Well, it... It's a good way to s secure a victory if you have those cards. Like, if, if blue went first and put down two cards, then there's the possibility that one centaur might not be enough to beat them. Maybe? No, Centaur's like the strongest one, I think. Well, we know a Centaur beats two archers. Yeah, one Centaur would have been enough to win that. <laughs> huh. Huh, okay. All right, I... Maybe there's a reason behind it. Maybe they're just really bad at the game. <laughs> Maybe they were trying to throw it. Maybe they were trying to throw the match. So many possibilities. Anyway, over here. I love how many gaps there are here. We've got like... We have got hardly any... Any, uh, like, words in the paragraph to work with. Uh, what if you wanted to really win? Yeah, I feel like it would be more of like a... If you want to taunt them. If you want to be like, hey, I've played an extra centaur here that I'm not going to have in the future because I'm just that confident I'm going to beat you. But it's kind of funny because they then lost either way. <laughs> they only won that first match with the two centaurs and then lost the other two. <laughs> Was that you? Yeah, you're not great at this game, huh? Uh, is it just you or... Is the floor... Oh, yeah, this, this, that's definitely looking like a face. I think this might be a... It looks a bit like a wall. Like a, like a, like a cave wall going around this way. Like, this is where the floor is, and then it goes around, and this is like a big cave wall bit, but that definitely looks like a face. That is a big old nose, little mouth, the two eyes. Very interesting. Right, back to here. But this... Uh, a Padjack game. A Padjack game. We can fill that one in. Uh, somebody... I'm guessing somebody lost a Padjack game to somebody else. Somebody thought somebody had cheated. Yeah, I think this is just Bill Price and Zubiri Kara. I think Bill Price... Lost a Pajak game to Zubiri Kara. And then Bill Price thought Zubiri Kara had cheated. So he tried to take Zubiri Kara's life. I had life in here, right? Oh, ear! Tried to take his ear to add to his collection! His collection of ears on a thing! I think he tried to take his ear! Wait, let me have a look. Yes, look. Look at all the injuries around there. He tried to take his ear. <gasps> wow. Wow, that wasn't just any kind of revenge. <sighs> wow, okay. Nice, we got it. So now it's the order of who killed who chronologically. Who killed whom, sorry. So we know it started when Bill tried to take Zubiri's ear but not necessarily try to kill him. Hoomstuff. <laughs> Hoomstuff. I love actually saying Hoomstuff. Like Hoomst as well. And Whamst. <laughs> Silly little things. Good times. Right. I think he tried... 
He tried to take Zuberi's life. Who would have gone into action first? That is the question here. What order did all of this happen in? Hmm. Who would have had this kind of sword? A long rapier. Uh, well, you've got a sword. You're a bit too far away to really do anything. You had a big old mace. I think it's gonna have, have to... It's gonna have to be Gabriel who had the sword. And it would make sense. He's only got, like, knives and daggers and things here. And if Oberon said, make sure Gabriel comes along just in case anything kicks off, then it would imply that Gabriel would be the first to jump into action there. So I think we start with Gabriel used the rapier to kill Bill Price. Wait, possibly? Would it be... It might not be the right angle. It could be. It could be this guy. Hmm. No, I think, I think, I think he's more likely to have a sword. And so then... Oh, it's Hoomstedov. Hoomstedov, I love that. <laughs> Hoomstedov, Hoomstedov done it. Also, Diva, hello, thank you for the head pat. Welcome in. Trying to figure out what happened in this place. And it's very interesting. So at this point now... Oh, thank you for the hydrate! Yes, let me let me replenish brain cells. I'm using so many. Ha! Ah, have a sippy. Right, so I think going for the the obvious threat was the first thing that would happen. So the long rapier stabbed in his back. That would make a lot of sense if if Bill was actually here and our other friend was over here, then Gabriel would be able to turn and stab him in the back as he's, like, reaching over to try and take the ear over here. Or even if he's just leaning over the table, his back would be prime for stabbing. So that does make sense. And then, I think, after the stabbing... This one... We know... We know that Sri is part of Bill's team. Yeah, here we've got uh, Sri, Ruben, and Bill are all allied so we know that much so then upon seeing his friend get stabbed he would probably jump into action and throw a chakram so I think that is the next thing that happened I think Sri threw a chakram at Gabriel Hubert at which point we know that this is Oberon's friend Upon seeing him throw the chakram, I think he would have bonked him on the head with his mace, because his mace has blood on it. So Pandula Senevi used the mace on Sri Thagson. And then we've got like the the harpoon sticking out here. I think I think this guy threw the harpoon to kill him. Wait, is this guy dead? Yeah, I think he's not. I think he's dead. He's not breathing. <laughs> oh, thank you for the posture check too. Let me have a big stretch. Ah, sit up straight. Assume the proper puzzle solving position as my chair creaks. Right, so I think, I think you threw the harpoon then. So then Carlos Luna... through the harpoon at Pandula Senevi, at which point we know Oberon shot his gun. So Oberon Geller used the pistol to shoot Carlos Luna. I think we got it. I think we got it all. Look at that. We did it. Yes. The scroll has been fulfilled. 
the, lo the young Lemurian Zubiri Kara, bored of his studies, went down to the Yellow Lily to participate in a Pajak tournament. He played against the skilled but hot-headed quartermaster Bill Price and won. Bill, incredulous that he could have lost to a newcomer, accused Zubiri of cheating and tried to take his ear. As you do, very normal thing to do there. Yay! And I, I fixed the confetti too. If anyone was here on Friday when it didn't work, I fixed the confetti. It works again now. <laughs> the confetti is back. A job well done, I think. Thank you. Ah. Right, we've got some more here. Elephants. Here we go. Oh. Today is the most... Oh, wait. Today is the most important day in your life, children. You will meet a Lemurian saint. And other powerful people. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, here comes your favorite DLC case. Oh, I'm excited for it then. Welcome in. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Ralphine. Ra Ralphine? Ralphine? Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Welcome in! I'm just about to start Spider of Lanka Case 2. Oh, the unfortunate accident at the Raja's Court. Ooh. What's happening here? Wow, look at this. <laughs> Wait, I'm kind of blocking that. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. We've got a lot to look at here. I feel like we haven't even found like the bulk of the action yet. But I wanna find everything. Oh no, the devs are working on a sequel. Yeah, I do. I I actually added the the sequel to my wish list. Uh before even playing this game. I've I, I figured this was the kind of game I would enjoy, so I, I added it to the wish list before even playing this one. And playing through this has just proven that I was right to add it to my wish list, because I'm I'm really excited for it now. <laughs> After playing like the base game the last couple of weeks and now starting on the DLC, it's so good. Wait, the such <laughs> It kind of does. There's my statue impression. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's, it's like I'm just realizing that I'm kind of in the way and you can't see it in all its beauty. There you go. So you can see it properly. Right, let's have a look around. Let's let's just I'm just gonna go left to right, I think. We'll start with you. Hello. I did not expect my first seven seas assignment to conclude so shockingly. No wonder these savage countries need to be civilized. Oh, you shut up. <laughs> I don't like this guy. Okay, you've got a sword. Feed a gift to the mouth. You've got a pouch of tobacco and a pipe. And we have a note here. Oh, Albert. We have a name. Albert. We must strengthen relations with Abaya the Radiant in order to establish a trading outpost in Lanka and bring these four locally produced pigments to Europe. Uh, Usharik, produced in mines filled with toxic gas. Aphid, gathered from silverback piranha-invested lakes. Laqua, harvested from the nesting crickets. Or Sector, oh, and Sector, gathered from the Sector spiders. Right, well, the crickets sound like the safest out of those. Our cultural tolerance department has provided a gift, a statue appropriate to these devil-worshipping societies. Find out if they appreciated it. Consider pretending to be a devil worshipper too. Wow. Okay. Nice. Just like we we need we need to get along with these devil worshippers. Try um worshipping the devil for a bit. You know, just. Very normal things to ask of someone. But I mean, from everything we've heard about Seven Seas, they're, they're a bit shady anyway, so it's like a... I, what, what am I saying, like, a bit shady? They're, they're just shady. They are they are a shady company. <laughs> what with all the, the cult ties? Ah, oh, Seven Seas. Right. Yeah, they, I, I don't like the... I love the sound of this, like, yeah, we need to get this stuff from mines with toxic gas and lakes with piranhas infested 
And also knowing them and like knowing, seeing the tone of this writing, I can fully imagine them to be like, yes, we need to establish trading, a trading outpost with them so that they can get those things and put themselves at risk and then we can just buy them. It's clearly what they want here. They're, they're not going to go and head into the toxic gas mines themselves. No way. Right, there's another letter here saying, Oh, Albert, I will not be able to accompany you on your first Seven Seas mission. A pressing matter requires my attention. One, ignore whatever rubbish central office has suggested. Uh, two, befriend Putra. He has the Raja's ear. Three, when you arrive, place the gift in the location as instructed on the wrapping paper. It is meant to be a surprise. That sounds really bad. That's... That sounds really bad. To have, like, a sacred gift to give... To try and befriend people for trading routes. To then get a note and just be like, uh, don't do whatever they say. Uh, just leave the gift in the mouth of... I'm guessing in the mouth of the statue, honestly. <laughs> As a nice little surprise. That, that feels like it would be potentially blasphemous. I don't think it would be a good idea, whatever it is. And then we have this book. Ooh! Seven Seas Company Associate Travel Guide. Navigation. Navigating by star. Once you are facing the North Star, you are facing... Thanks. That's pretty handy. That makes sense. Uh, navigating by crescent moon. Imagine a line joining the endpoints and down into the horizon. That direction is south. That's cool. That's very interesting. Nice. And what is important? Uh, Seven Seas Company Associate Travel Guide. On the island of Lanka, as with many other former colonies of the Lemurian Empire, the lingua franca is common, Lemu common Lemurian. Oh! Oh, that's so nice. So these are different languages, pretty much. Or, so... When the writing is like this, it's Lemurian. When it's not, it is, um... What we've been using the rest of the time. Probably English. I feel like it's a bit presumptuous to just be like, yeah, that's English, but... Yeah. What if the moon is a full one? I guess you can't find south. <laughs> You're just stuck then. You just can't find south. Uh, note that the honorific master is followed by the surname. Wait, yeah, if the moon is a full one, then everywhere is south. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's better than mine. <laughs> Instead of just like, you're lost forever, just be like, actually, you're never lost. Because you will always be south. Oh, other than the direction of the North Star. But what if... Uh, what if you can't see the North Star? Because it's hiding. Then everything is also north. I'm glad we've we've sorted this. Uh, what am I even talking about? For the last century, the island of Lanka has been divided in three kingdoms, each named by their ruler's family. They are Jaffna, Gamini, and Vijaya kingdoms. Each kingdom is ruled by a Raja who subjugates the peasantry, enabling the cheap production of cloth, pigments, and spices. Oh, slavery. Yay. Great. Wonderful. I don't know what I expected. There's so much colonialism going on. <laughs> ah. Right, well, we got some good information. I love this whole, like, the savage countries need to be civilized. Oh, maybe it concluded so shockingly because you did whatever this message told you to and probably insulted them greatly. I, I don't feel like leaving a gift in a mouth somewhere is a respectful gesture. I don't think leaving a gift as a surprise in a mouth of something could be seen as respectful in this situation. Especially like depending on what the gift is as well, because we heard it's a statue, a statue appropriate to devil worshiping society. So it's probably mildly horrific. <laughs> All right, let's move along. Keep your mouth shut, boy. Your father committed a murder and cannot be forgiven. Undoubtedly, his highness will demand your life. Oh, mouth. I can get mouth. Yep, that's going to be for leaving the gift in the mouth of something. 
considering you were talking about the gift sounds like a bomb. No, it said it's a statue. But I think it's probably a a, a devil statue. Alright, what is this? Ooh! Okay, we've got instructions here. Position guards outside the chamber of trials during the test in the morning. Only my children and the priest must be allowed must be allowed in there. The priest forbids the presence of any Westerners during the ritual, but we do not wish to insult a man of the Seven Seas Company. Oh no, I was gonna point something out. I was like, it looks like the double user capitalized, but I think that's just the font. I don't think they are, because the allow here is also. Yeah, I thought it was like the the royal we. <laughs> It's just, it's just we. Uh, entertain Albert Cloudsley, Esquire, by showing him the gardens during the ceremony. We've got Albert Cloudsley. Wait, was Albert? Oh. I think Albert Cloudsley was the one from the very, very first case. With the idol in the very beginning, I think. Oh, oh, this is cool. Meanwhile, allow nobody to enter the ritual hall except me, my children, the Lemurian delegation, and our noble blade master. And a key. A nice red key. Oh, this is this is gonna be good. So I guess you're Albert Cloudsley then. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure this is. I'm pretty sure this is the guy from the very first chapter. Cease your threats, Lankan Lackey. I am not to blame for my father's deceptions, but perhaps this is the price we pay for our stagnating culture. Ooh, a message from Ari. I beg you, cease to request that we meet. You know it is unwise. Venerable Yupik's watchful eyes notice everything. He is your father and you know his character. He will not toler tolerate such transgression. I am a mere servant and must know my place. I can never be part of Kara family. Ari. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Dating. Forbidden love. Because his father doesn't approve. Oh. A little sad. And here we have. Do not worry, long young Lemurian. If it is meant for you to die today, it will be by my hand and swift. I have killed many, or killed many people for the right and the wrong reasons. Such is the Dharma of the warrior. You got a falcon, nice. And this is, uh, my tiger. Have you found anything that might help me earn my rightful title? Then you can be by my side forever. Leave it in the, the bush by the pyre. That insufferable Kucha has his days, uh, has his... Dogs, oh dogs, search our things regularly. So we must be careful. Your moonlight and soon your queen. Ha ha. <laughs> tiger, gotta call Peter, yeah. <laughs> Where's he at? Be like, hey, we, we, we got a tiger, you gotta fight. Peter, Peter Batley? I think, I think that was his name, right? Yeah, he, he could fight a tiger. Oh, he, yeah, he's the tiger. Yeah, he could fight you. Right. Okay, I can't explore anything else. I thought I would be able to click on these people down here, but I have to go down to the areas to do that. So, is there... Alright, I think I'm gonna start by going up. Well, um... That looks sacrificial. Uh... <laughs> Huh. Right, what is this? Uh, a bottle of pink substance labelled Usharic Ink. So, the Usharic one is pink. I love these kind of puzzles. It looks like they've already been solved, but I love those kind of puzzles. Unless they were solved wrong, they may have been solved wrong. Oh, and over here we have uh, aphid ink. So the aphid is teal. Wait, we've got pink and teal. <laughs> We're starting with pink and teal. This is great. Oh, this is great. Okay, how about this one? Right, you got different answers. I, I am going to have to solve these. They've got different answers. I need to see who was right. I 
need to see who was right, but I'm going to wait because it said it was added to the thinking panel. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, that's... That's a body dead inside there. The woman is not breathing. Uh, I wonder what happened to Peter. I, I guess he just, like... Him and Mary would have just ran off, I guess. <laughs> he did a good job of defending... Defending them both. Last we saw was like the picnic, so they're, they're probably just they probably just ran off and they're now off in distant lands doing more horse gambling. <laughs> Good times. Dear diary, I believe I have finally found love after all these years. I wonder if I can leave my servitude and marry this brave fighter. The poor boy will be heartbroken, but he should have understood a long time ago that I have no interest in him. Oh, my tender petal. Who says that? Well, Warrior Jane says that, I guess. I spend my nights restlessly thinking about your sweet lips and eyes. This works? Okay, uh, let us meet again at midnight on 12th of November in the, in the Orchid Garden. There we can have privacy to share love and secrets. Your Warrior Jane. And then here, uh, the hall will be unlocked the morning they take the test. When the winner, oh, when the winner is revealed, we will lock it again. The evening before the ritual, lock yourself inside and set everything up. Remember to prepare the apron for the one who succeeds. The red paint is in the vase. You pick. Huh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it moves! It moves, okay. There's broken glass here. Throw me in he eye. I'm guessing that's gonna be throw, throw me in the eye? There's also blue on the fingertips there as well. Oh yeah, I can click on it. Look at that. Yeah, there's like blue ink there. I presume ink? A lot of talk about pigments and stuff. I, I presume it's ink. Is there anything else of relevance around here? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to keep this down. No, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't show anything else. Who <laughs> says that would be flowery poets? For me, it's like it started off so flowery and then it just went, uh, I've been thinking about your sweet lips and eyes. <laughs> Like after tender petal, just saying, uh, your your sweet lips and eyes, yeah, nailed it. Let us share love and secrets. All right, what is this? Oh, the following people only are allowed in the ritual hall on November sixteenth. During the testing procedure in the morning, the Lemurian piece, priest and the potential heirs. And then during the ritual of the blade in the evening, uh, the Lemurian delegation, the royal family, spy master, and blade master. Oh, so the ritual of the blade, it looks like it's like a swinging thing. Was it staged? Was it staged? I'm guessing it's like a ritual that's meant to like slice through you. And if you live, then you survive. It sounds like they used this to like lower so that it wouldn't actually happen and then used red paint to rig it. Yeah, prepare the apron for the one who succeeds. The red paint is in the vase. Like an apron covered in red paint to just be like, yes, I have been sliced by this blade and survived it. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Oh no, did I actually say that? I said that, didn't I? Yeah, I did say that. Wow. Wow, people die if they are killed. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's terrible. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really good at not realizing when I say silly things. Like, sometimes I will, I will be so convinced in my head that I'm saying one word when I'm saying a different one like 
Like, I'm pretty sure I mixed up suit and ship when playing Outer Wilds, and I didn't even realize it until I looked at a clip afterwards that I think Brie made, and I, I didn't realize I said that. I thought I'd said the other word <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Right, I want to look at these. I want to look at these. I want to figure this out. Start with triangles. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Where are the other ones? I don't get 18, I get 15, but I did just do that very quickly. That one's 14. Maybe they're both wrong. Right, let's let's do this one. I'm I'm good at like spatial recognition. It's not that. That's so wrong. How could you think it's that one? Wait, no, it might not be wrong. No, it is wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. Uh questioning myself then for a second. Because they could be turned in so many ways. Maybe it is that one. No, I think it actually is. Is it? It is that one. It's turned. This is that top point. The bit that's sticking out is that bit. And then that's the bit going down. Ah, oh, it is that one. Okay, so Pink got that one right. And Teal very much did not. Because look how... Look how there's, like, gaps here. There's, like, a little bit sticking out. It's... It looks so different. Right, and then let's look at the first one too. I love these kind of logic puzzles. So we know to start with it's uh, circle, circle, square, circle, circle, square, circle, circle, square, circle, circle. So this is going to be a circle. And then we've got red, brown, white, gold, red, brown, white, gold, red, brown, white. Yeah, this one's right. This is correct. So that's right. That's right. Pink has got two out of three. And there may be 18 triangles there and I just can't count. Uh, we know I can't count. That's probably what it is. But uh, I think it's safe to say that... Teal got this wrong. <laughs> Teal definitely got it wrong. Uh, Pink was the winner here. Right, I, I don't even know what these are for, but we know now. Oh, I can either go up or down. Is up just... Oh, I can see the roof here. Okay. What is happening? What is going on here? This is, um... Okay, drinking something. Lie on the table. Stabby, your soul goes up. Your soul's pushed back in. You're back? Is that it? Maybe? Possibly? Terrifying either way. Right, back to here. Oh yeah, I did say island as well when I meant planet. <laughs> that one's a little more understandable. Versus like remembering to put my ship on or like landing my suit. I don't even remember which way around it was now. Right, so that was interesting. Let's go down here now, because I want to look at this big devil statue. <gasps> yeah, look at that. <gasps> A large statue. Is that a seven on it? Is that like the seven seas? <gasps> is that the seven seas logo? Is this the statue they brought along? No, that's way too big of a gift. You couldn't leave that in a mouth somewhere. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, what is happening here? Uh, the woman has a huge wound across her abdomen beneath an apron and she is not breathing. Okay, yes, that that's whatever happened back in the nice little ritual room. Oh, people of Albion, leaflet eight. Eight. There's been a lot of eights in these cases. I like it. Uh, Titania Printing House. Read and learn the Albion language. Okay, so yeah, I guess it's a... 
it's Lemurian and Albion as Eight. the two languages in this. So that's good to know. Uh, the best way to learn this language is by looking at the Seven Seas Company's gift to the Raja. Okay. What was the gift then? To learn how to read and learn Albion. Despite their name, the Infernal Guard are dedicated to a noble cause. Fighting fire! Ah, firefighters! Yelling to clear the way, they hurry to the place of ordeal to do their unenviable job. The guards do not feel fear and smirk at things that would be agony to commoners. They bravely step into the infernal limbo and do their duty. This is so dramatic. Challenges they face are like lava, and obstacles can be ominous, and during the nights even otherworldly. But inattentiveness is a swift killer. Ignited with bravery, they step into the nightmares. Their burden is monstrous. They often yell commands, already fatigued. If accidents can cause such misery, intentional cases are more odious. But the men, unclean and tired, run to the place of terror to face whatever horror awaits them. This is meant to be a leaflet to read and learn the Albion language? This... Wow! Yeah, I don't think they actually want them to learn. <laughs> wow, okay. And then what's this? Ooh, notes. November 15th. Tomorrow is the big day and my heart trembles with anticipation. If Tissa passes the test, I will not feel I have failed. I will witness his ritual of blade with joy in my heart. For none is braver and wiser and worthier than him to inherit father's responsibilities. If I happen to be picked, I will bow my head in humble appreciation of this great honor. I don't think you were picked. I'm sorry. I think the whole thing was rigged, actually. I'm sorry. And down here. May you travel from darkness to light, from death to immortality, dear sister. Death is a mere illusion that appears to those who cannot grasp absolute reality. Wow. Okay. November 15th. Tomorrow is the great day. The ritual hall will be opened and Anula and I will be evaluated. May light guide my sister in the test, for she is worthy of the title. If fate judges me to be the one, then I am ready to undergo the journey through the blade to the sun and back again to claim my birthright. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. What else is around here? I think that's all for around here. We'll have a look here again. What is this for? Do they have like a general knowledge test before they start swinging the blade? <laughs> and this too. Prepare the apron for the one who succeeds. What What does it mean? Is Is it rigged? Well, it's got to be rigged. There's literally a mechanism in here. There's no way. There's no way it's not rigged. The question is just how and why and which direction is it being rigged in? All right, let's check down here. Oh, hey, I guess that's the king who has done a murder. Ah, oh, no, that's that's going to is that the no, that's the that's the the other king. This is, this is, he's from this area. This is the one who did the murder, I guess. For sharing this secret, I will allow your Zubiri to live, but he must join me on the journey as insurance for your honesty. You are free to leave with your delegation. Yeah, and then got lots of expensive rings with various gems and a Qatar blade. Oh, he looks rich. Just look at him. Here. You wanted life for life, O oh, most radiant and magnificent Raja. Has this information satisfied your needs? Yeah, so obviously he killed somebody. For whatever reason, we will find out what's going on, I presume. And so the Raja is wanting a life for a life. And he's given information to save his son. A small box filled with incense sticks. What's the information? What's the information? Fine, I am not told the information. Look at the all of the rock carvings on the on all of the the stones, though. Wow. Oh, and we got we got blue. We got blue. 
Blue is Laqua ink. Over here, your magnificence. Some encoded correspondence is being exchanged between someone at the palace and someone else. Somebody else. I do not like it, and my spies are working overtime to discover who is behind this. I still believe it is safe for your children to undergo the test, and for the chosen one to go through the rites of rebirth. The Lemurian saint confirms that the ritual is the same as when you were sworn in, when you came of age. By day's end, you will have your heir, your highness. Master Sun. So Sun is a surname. We know Sun is a surname from what we learned from the, the Seven Seas tour guide. <laughs> Huh. So both of them down there are the Raja's children. To find out who is the heir. Also encoded correspondence. I feel like that's that's gotta be the the really weirdly written how to how to learn to read Albion thing. That's that was written so weirdly. The first thing I actually thought was that it was probably coded in some way. <laughs> Cause it's like nobody would write it like that normally. It's it's so suspicious from the start. This kind of confirms it. Right, ooh. A clue added to the thinking panel. Magnificent Raja. I accept your invitation to facilitate the test and the initiation. Our delegation will arrive with the necessary equipment at the start of November. Regarding the Westerners, you already know that we strongly advise against trading with them. They do not understand the importance of Lemurian tradition, and their ways are impure. High Priest of Kera clan. Yeah, that's... He's the High Priest of Kera. And our friend outside is Zubiri Kera. The sun. Now look in the drawer. No. Okay, well, we've found three of the pigments so far. I wonder what the fourth one is. I, I bet the fourth one is... Oh, no, I was going to say maybe red, because this looks kind of red here, but it just looks pink again here. But yeah, we've got a lot of pinks, teals, and blues. So then I was like, maybe a yellow pigment would be the other one? Maybe it's yellow, but this could be just gold. No, this is yellow. Yeah, I think it's probably yellow. Else around here, not that I can spot immediately. Let's go back down. Where else can I go? Is there anywhere else I can go? I'm still missing a lot. Can I go anywhere else from here? Feels like I should be able to go in here, but I cannot. I want to go like down here. I can't. I'm still missing so much. What am I missing? Hmm. Maybe I look at the thinking panel to start with, see what I have. Ah. There we go. Well, we know that pink is the winner. Because teal got it all wrong. So, failed. Succeeded. <laughs> and then, I've already forgotten the names. Hold on. Uh, you are... Yeah, I, th I think she... No, she didn't rig it to win because she died. Hmm. Right, so Tissa, you are Tissa. Oh no, they they all have that leaflet. It's, it's just passed around, I guess. So you're Tissa and Anula. Your Tissa, your Anula. I don't know if the Raja has a specific surname or if it's just going to be Raja as the surname. I'm missing so much here, though. Oh well, we know uh, we know good old Zubiri. <laughs> we can fill that in, and we know this is also a Kara. No, Raja is lit. Is is like written as a title. Hmm. Oh, and we know we know Albert Cloudsley as well. <laughs> what are you doing here? Come along to steal some golden idols, maybe. 
still don't know what's going on with this gift in the mouth. Uh, befriend Pucha. He has the Raja's ear. What is the gift? What? Is... I want to know what the gift is. Like, the fact that this has... Like, the, the seven on it makes me think this could be the gift, or the gift was put in the mouth of here. Oh! Oh, I can look out! Oh! Of course, the other thing said in the bush. Oh. Did not get precise answers, but this will help. One, rotate the line every fourth same color, circle, circle, square. Oh, cheating. Cheating. Two, the number of horizontal lines multiplied by six. Oh. Wow. Three is easy, just look carefully. Yeah. They're cheating. They cheated to get the answers. That's you. You cheated. You cheated to get the answers. You cheated. Or did she cheat? Do, do they have to pass the test to be allowed to go on the ritual thing? Maybe it's the other way around. Then over here as well, the fact that there's the blue here. Did the Raja send you? Did Raja send you? Then marry this brave fighter, Jayam. Meet in the orchid garden. Was there an orchid garden? Is this the orchid garden? This might be the orchid garden. <laughs> but yeah, those are the those are the answers to the test, so someone's been a little cheater. Oh, have, have I not? I clicked to go up. I didn't go in this room. I'm so silly. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be where the rest of the stuff I need is. How helpful. <laughs> right, start over here. <gasps> a little bug. A cricket. Oh, to get the, the stuff. The stuff for the thing. And there's the spider to also get the stuff for the thing. Don't know why the centipede and the little scorpion are in here, but... Oh, and a beetle! Oh, the beetle's cute. Yeah, they only really need the cricket and the spider. At least seven seas do. They got all the little buggums in here. Look, it's, it's just under the branch. They're cute. With a little leaf. And a little web. Look, it's just... And the cricket's just dancing. What a good friend. I'm a little scared by the, the red spider, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I'm, I'm sure it's okay. And then, oh, there's something in the drawer! The deadliest arthropods of Lanka. Uh, sector spider, feed only twice a week. Calmarian scorpion, a quick and painful death. Plain beetle, the merciful killer, like falling asleep. That beetle did not look like it could kill me. I love how I just called all of those things friends, and now it's like, yeah, everything in there could kill you. Legion centipede, after death, victim's body bloats like a balloon in minutes. And nesting cricket, bite stops heart quickly. Oh. Oh, I didn't look at the wound either as well. Haha. <gasps> -ha. Interesting. All right, time for you to sleep. Oh, thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you rest well. And thank you for the the drive-by hydrate before you leave as well. <laughs> I hope you rest well. Thank you for stopping by. I got my monster. I'm all fueled up. Right, I didn't think to click down and look at the, the wound. Uh, the wooden apron and clothing beneath it have been slashed. There is a mixture of blood and red paint on the wound. So yeah, I think something went wrong in this ritual. I don't think this was meant to go up, but looking at the body here... <gasps> what was the blue one again? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, was it important? 
no, uh, this one? Here, blue. We know Usharik was the pink. Aphid, uh, Lakwa. Lakwa was the, the blue, right? Was it Lakwa? Yes, Lakwa ink is the blue one, so that's the crickets. I keep clicking the wrong thing to try and go back. <laughs> That's the cricket. How does the cricket make you die? Uh, nesting cricket. Bite stops heart quickly. Why did you have the cricket? Why were you bitten by the cricket? Hold on. She was definitely bitten by a cricket. How did that cricket get out? <laughs> How did that happen? So she was bitten by the cricket, which made her heart stop, which meant she couldn't lower this in time for her to survive the the ritual, which meant it just sliced right through her and she died. I think this whole ritual has always been a scam. I think it's always been a scam and it's always been intended that you're never actually sliced, which is why there's the apron covered in blood to make it be like, you were sliced, but you survived and came back. But it went wrong because obviously the person who was meant to operate the thing to lower it couldn't do that due to being dead. <laughs> so it all went wrong. And of course they would blame the Lemurians who they brought in to perform the ritual, even though they probably, maybe, didn't have anything to do with it. They could still have had something to do with it. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, let's look at this map, yes. Okay, this is Lanka Island. We've got Jambafur up here, we've got the Jaffna Kingdom, Lankapur here with the Vijaya Kingdom, and Klusapur with the Gamani Kingdom. Which one are we in? I. This is gonna be how I find the Raja's surname, I think, probably. Oh, Sector Inc. is black. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Master, we found this poem and picture in the palace garbage. A uh, picture is the key. The yellow lion. Oh, this was not hard to decode, but the method is curious. So, where yellow in the evenings, do not mourn the black ocelot. Be untamed and forget your worries. Do dream of green wilderness, gift your guests impulsive gifts, release your inner lion when in doubt, furthest leap is the hardest landing. It's all just the words that are related to the picture. This is cool. Beast of honor is a rare sight. Disrespect emperor and fall like a leaf. A hunter enjoys the morning sun. Eat breakfast, sing poems. Do not trust your servant, trust your instinct. On your last day, just roar at the sky. And then the first letter of each one says, you will be heir. Okay, I need to go check that other one now. No, I need to check this first. Here we go. Oh. Uh, dear Putra, I did my best to seduce that Lemurian servant girl from Sukera family so we could obtain successful results for the young prince in the test. Aha. Aha, this is how it's rigged. Ah. Surprisingly, she was not charmed by my advances. I do not know what is wrong with her. Royal Blade Master G. Wow. Wow, how modest. How... Wow, how humble. Right. That's good, though. That means we've got a name for the girl who died in the ritual thing. From Sukera family. Good to know. Right, I'm missing one more clue. A single clue. So that's going to be a, a fun situation, probably where it's like a single word I forgot to click on somewhere. But that's okay. I want to go back and look at these leaflets again because... There isn't a picture, though. Wait, the best way to learn this language is by looking at the Seven Seas Company's gift to the Raja. I haven't found the gift. Did I? This isn't the gift, is it? Is this the gift? The giant devil statue, is that the gift? Is that the picture I'm looking at? I think it might be. I think it is. I think the giant devil statue was the gift. 
So we've got uh, Infernal, Fire, Yelling, Ordeal, Unenviable? I guess it would be unenviable there. So immediately we've got If You, uh, Smirk, Agony, Infernal, Limbo. Sail. If you sail, uh, lava, ominous, otherworldly, killer. Look. If you sail, look. Ignited and nightmares in. Look in. Monstrous. Yell. Look in my. Okay, so misery, odious, unclean, terror, horror. Mouth. If you sail, look in my mouth. Sail. You sail. <laughs> in his mouth? No. Uh, where would that be? If you sail. One of these mouths? No. Hmm. Over here. Oh, maybe? Oh, this is interesting to think about now. I gotta figure out what this means. Because also the fact as well that this says, um, uh, place the gift in the location as instructed on the wrapping paper. It's meant to be a surprise. That's clearly like inside a mouth. And that note also says, if you sail, Look in the mouth. South? Is that south? I'm, I'm trying to look at the... See if there's any angles I can see the crescent moon better. We're going south, maybe. Ha, oh, this is so interesting. Can't see anything around here? Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing one word, and I think it's going to be related to this gift. But I have not figured out... Because there, it's like a large statue. I want to look in the mouth. I want... Like, uh, if you sail, because it's sail, it's like smirk, agony, infernal limbo. Oh, oh, maybe fear. Fear. If you fail. If you fail, look in my mouth. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Never mind. Uh, no sailing. <laughs> if you fail, look in my mouth. Hmm. No, not her mouth. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, because I'm thinking the way this ritual works is it's set up to, like, choose, like, the chosen one and to lower it before the blade happens, but make it look as though they've been hit. So it's all like a, oh, you've, you've been reborn. But the, the Lemurians are the only ones who know the intricacies of the procedure and how it works. So, of course, when something goes wrong and someone actually dies and doesn't come back in it, they're gonna blame the Lemurians who did the ritual. I'm guessing maybe re revealed the, the secret of the ritual? It's the Kara clan. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And that one, uh, yeah, the secret correspondence. Da, 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 da. You will have your air. Okay. Right, I'm gonna go back here. We're going to try and figure out who everyone is. Right, well. Let's have a look at all of this. Yep, here we've got a Cla Albert Cloudsley. We know who he is. There's the Chamber of Trials. There is... Ari. 
Yupik, I'm guessing, is the main guard. I'm a mere servant, I think. Over here. So, she's in love with Jayun. But then I think Zubiri is in love with her. And here it's just like, the poor boy will be heartbroken, but he should have understood a long time ago that I have no interest in him. Because she's in love with... She's in love with Jayun. Or was, I guess. She's a bit dead now. Uh... And yeah, and here, here she's just like, please stop, stop writing. Stop. Stop it. But she did it the wrong way here. She worded it in a way that's like, please don't because it's forbidden. Because that's just a challenge at that point. Getting that as a, a young, hot-headed guy in love is just going to be like, I am a mere servant, I must know my place, I can't do this. He's going to keep trying, he's going to keep pushing. This is, If you don't want him to go after you, you've got to go, please just stop. I love someone else. Like, <laughs> Right, so yeah, I'm guessing then this is the the quartermaster leave it in the bush by the pyre yeah that's the oh it's you he's he's the spy hold on i need to sit up straight for this oh he's the one who was leaking the answers he leaked the answers to her so that she could win and become the guardian, become like the the heir. And then I'm guessing because he'd be like the, the royal guard or whatever, he will always be by her side. Who is Putra? Which one is Putra with the dogs? I need to figure that out. But uh, that's that's so interesting. She was literally just like, hey, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat at this. But it didn't pay off because she died. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I, I love this whole thing that's just like, if, if, if I don't pass, it's fine. I'm fine with it. He is the one worthy. Knowing that she literally cheated to get the answers. That's so funny. It says it on both of them. This one is, uh, I suggest you do your language practice while observing the Seven Seas Company gift to Raja. And this one says, the best way to learn this language is by looking at the Seven Seas Company's gift to Raja. They were both written separately. Like, they are both handwritten notes, different notes on each one. By you, I presume. Yeah, that's a note there. Then this one's written in blue, so I'm guessing because there was the blue ink in the Raja's quarters, this is probably the quartermaster then. There, your, your father committed a murder and cannot be forgiven. I'm guessing then that that is Putra. I'm guessing he's Putra. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock that guess in because I'm... I think I'm right with that. And I think there was something else as well. Over here. Yeah, here. Oh, this one's written in black, though. Wait, hold on. No, I think I mixed it up. I think... <laughs> this was written by someone in blue. These were the instructions given to him. So yeah, that was the king. So then I think he wrote in the black here. And then Master Sun. I think it's... I think it's Putra's son. I think that's his name. I think. Also, thank you for the posture check as well. I, I don't know if I missed that one or not. I think I missed it. I'll sit up straight anyway. I have a big stretch. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm getting so invested in the... <laughs> in the figuring out. Oh, this is fun. I need to figure out what his name is. Oh, there was something that said... 
there, you pick is your father. Yes, that that was. I knew his father's name was mentioned somewhere. It's just a matter of where. There we go. So we've got Zubiri Kara and you pick Kara. And then we know this is uh, Ari. I think it was Ari. Was it Ari? Second guessing myself now. Yes, that was Ari. That's Ari. Ari's the one who's in love with the warrior. Oh yeah, Ari, uh, Sukera. Sukera. I'm guessing that's going to be like under Kera if, if she's like a, a lowly servant of the Kera family. Maybe that's how the surnames work. Interesting. Right, so I need to figure out the rest of these names. You are the one who... who sent uh, this... <laughs> Oh, is this Jayan then? Maybe this is Jayan. Hold on. Let me let me have a look at the petal note again. <laughs> Not that one. That was you pick. Uh, dear diary, dear diary, I love this fighter. There, your warrior Jayan. Love and secrets. It's written like that. It's written with like the the pinky ink. Yeah, they both write with like the same the same ink. I I guess. Oh no, no, that's gonna be down there. That's you who wrote that. I think maybe. Yes. Yeah, that is. Okay. So I think this is Jayan. So now it's just... What the heck is Raja's name? I have definitely missed some stuff along the way here to mention this. Keep looking. Bum, 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 bum. I should probably start, like, with him. Ba, ba, ba. No, it doesn't say anything there. Does this? No, it's Magnificent Raja. Your Magnificence. It's always just by titles. Just, why won't you say his name? Hold on. Do, do either of these, maybe one of these will talk about, like, our family. The family name, maybe. No, you don't. Do you mention... No, you mentioned the absolute reality. Good times. From death to immortality. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, it doesn't. There's, there's no names. Hold on. Let's have a look back in here again. Let's see what this said again. The ritual hall. Royal family, spy master, blade master. Like. Ah. Uh. I'm, what have I missed? I've got to find it. Ba -ba -ba, tiger, your moonlight, your queen. Ba -ba -ba -bam. Ba -ba -ba -bam. Da -da -da. Show him the gardens in the ceremony. Nobody allowed in the ritual hall. Do you have like anything else? <gasps> um, oh, it's in the first. It's in the first note. Abhaya the Radiant. Abhaya, we have a name. We don't have the surname yet, but we have the name. Ba -ba -ba, to get a trading outpost and all of these. Um, all four of these pigments are life-threateningly dangerous to get. <laughs> and there's, the, yeah, they brought along a nice little devil statue. Good times. What else is here? The friend Putra, he has the Raja's ear. Yep, gift and mouth. 
wait, I've just realized something. I think I know what the gift in the mouth might have been. I think it might be this. Throw me in the eye. Like, what if it's this and there was a cricket in there to kill them? I think you'll stick with black ink. Oh, like the, the nice sector spider ink. Yeah, that's possibly the safest. Just stay away from the spiders. <laughs> I'll just be like, I'll I'll just write with mud. That's okay. I don't need pigments. Who's here? Oh, the red paint is in the vase. What vase? Cause that's not a vase, that's just like a vial of something. Where is this vase? The red paint is in the vase. Hmm. But yeah, I'm wondering if this had a cricket inside it. <laughs> you crack it and there's a cricket. That's that's what I'm thinking. Like, throw me in the eye. Maybe like the eye of the statue? In the eye? 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 Nope. Nothing in the eyes. In your eye? In your eye? Not in these eyes. Okay. But... Yeah, whatever happened here, I'm pretty sure this is what killed her. And I'm pretty sure it's the cricket because of the blue on her hands. And we know that the bite of a cricket will just stop your heart. And that's also how they make the blue pigment, using the crickets. So that is my theory for how she died. She's like the, the servant of the, the Kera family who's setting up the ritual. And using this to, to rig it so they don't actually die. Wait, this eye? 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 No. Hmm. Mysterious. <gasps> Peachy, hello! Welcome, welcome, come on in. Come on in, I'm trying to figure out what the heck is happening here and I have so many questions and I love it. What about these eyes? This eye? No. Does anything else have eyes? <laughs> Right, I did look at everything here, right? Oh, wait. Oh, Royal Blade Master G. G. Hmm. And hello, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to big brain time with me, with reasonable size brain. I've just realized something. It says here, like, seems dubious, can I trust him? Royal Blade Master G here is saying she was not charmed by my advances. We're getting successful results for the young prince. It's the, the answers were given to the princess. So I think Royal Blade Master G may have fallen in love with the princess, maybe, and rigged it that way. But then, in that situation, are you J and G? I think that's the name then. So I just need to find out the surname of the the royal family, and I think I got it. Yeah, I think he's lying here. I think because he fell in love with the princess, or with the the Mirian servant. Has he just been playing everybody? Because the, the the princess sent him a message saying, yeah, I love you. And then he sent a message to Sukera, like seducing the Lemurian servant. And she was very much for that. It's saying here she was not charmed by my advances, but it's very clear from her notes that she, she's fallen for him. So he's lying about that. But why? to rig it for the princess because he actually loves the princess oh, okay oh seduce that's the word i was missing seduce okay okay i think we know what's going on here i just 
I just need to know the royal family's name. Where are we? North, south, east, west. Okay. South. That way is south, and there's that thing. Okay, okay. This is to the south. We're in Clusapur, which is the Gamini kingdom, so it's Gamini. Ha, 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 I got it. The crescent moon. The crescent moon. <laughs> I got it. Oh, that's good. That's good. Right, here we go. So now we know that Anula filled this in and succeeded, and then Tissa filled this in and failed. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. I got it. We're getting there. Right, a uh, Lemurian delegation consists of... Oh, let's let's start with this. Uh, Abhaya Gamini is Raja. Uh, which one's the spy master? Is Putra the spy master? No, Royal Blade Master G. Blade Master G. Putra's son is the spy master who was suspicious that things are going on. Uh, Jayan G is Blade Master. And we are in the city of... I've already forgotten which one it was. Clusipa. Good. <laughs> yes. Yes, we got him. Okay. Okay, what... Oh, Lemurian delegation. It's just these ones, isn't it? Yeah, so the Lemurians here, it's a uh, Yupik Kara. We've got Zubiri Kara. And we've got Ari Su Kara. Yeah, we got them. Okay. <laughs> I thought it wanted like titles or something there. And then I just suddenly realized, no, it's just the, the names. It's just which ones are the Lemurians who came to do the ritual. <laughs> Okay, here we go. All right. Here we go. Ho oh. ho. Right, we can start at the end because at the end we know uh, Abaya Gamini demanded Zubiri Kara's life. But instead, you pick Kara revealed a secret in exchange. I think that's right. I'm, I'm confident in that paragraph. <laughs> it's just figuring out how the rest of it's going to work properly. There we go. I think it's uh, using a cricket. Which he found in the mouth of the statue. Pretty sure it's the cricket. But who did it? Who did it? Well, you you were killed using the cricket. This resulted in the death of Anula. So did Tissa do it? Did Tissa do it? I feel like I saw something that was like, if things go wrong, use this. Oh wait, yeah, no, literally in, in this thing. It was the, if you fail, look in the mouth. If you fail, look in the mouth. And then that's going to be where the cricket was. So he used that to poison the ones who were in control here so that his sister would die and then he would automatically become the heir. Oh, that's sneaky. What the heck, Tissa? Wow. Uh, it was delivered by, hold on. It's delivered by Albert Cloudsley? Yeah, he's the one who delivered the gift. Is that it? Yeah, it is. Okay, it's just that. Oh, we did it. Oh, I love this. I love this game. 
<laughs> I'm good at this. Thank you. Thank you. I definitely have my moments, I think. <laughs> These are the kind of games I love the most. Like anything that's like logic puzzle deduction. Those are like the moments where I shine. Like finding the links between things and trying to piece it all together and make it all make sense. Those are, those are the things I love the most. And it's why I really love like games like this and um, Oberdin where you really have to like, you, you're you just given the elements and you have to put them together. I, I love them so much. Thank you for the hydrate as well. I will have a sip. A sip of my drink for a job well done. The scroll has been fulfilled with no hints accessed because I refuse. Young Prince Tissa failed to pass the Lemurian test to become an heir. So, as advised by a secret correspondent, he took receipt of a bottle containing a deadly insect along with instructions delivered by Albert Cloudsley. Before the ritual, Tissa threw the bottle into the machine and murdered the Lemurian servant Ari. She could not lower Princess Anula and the princess died. Yeah, the whole rigged ritual. Nice. Uh, take it, I've played Outer Wilds too. I, I have. It's actually the game I was streaming right before this one. <laughs> I was going to go straight into the Outer Wilds DLC, but I decided to have a few weeks to take a break. So this has been my taking a break from Outer Wilds in between section. And I'm so glad I decided to play this one too. But yeah, I haven't played the DLC for Outer Wilds, but that's going to be the game I play next when I'm done with the DLC here. So I'm I'm very excited. I'm It's such a good game. It's such an incredible game. I've had I had so much fun playing it and I'm Sorry, I need to sit up properly. I'm so excited to to explore more, to find out more. It's exciting. But yeah, I I love Outer Wilds. Which is uh it's it's a reason why I have the little um I have a little tip goal in the corner to get the Outer Wilds Collector's Edition. <laughs> Mostly because I want the kazoo, but also just because I want all of it because it's an incredible game. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's so good. It's such a good game. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for doing the command. But yeah, it's those type of games. The things where, like, it gives you all of the parts. It gives you all of the clues but you have to put it together yourself. I feel like it's something that is really easy to do wrong in games. Like I've played so many games that you can tell that's the intention, but they kind of just give you the answers as you go along. Like if you just collect enough things, it basically tells you what it is. I like it when it's a bit more obscure and you have to figure it out yourself. I feel like there's the, that's what gives the, oh my goodness, it was that kind of moments. Like that's, that's why I love them. <laughs> Oh, that was great, though. That was so good. I'm excited for the third one now. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm not going to remember everyone's names from here, too. That's going to be good. <laughs> oh, but it's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Oh, he really is not. All right, let's go on to number three. In the web of the spider. Oh, boy. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Thought you could fool me, spider. I have captured you, and now you will answer for the death of the princess. Who does spider? You're the spider? Spider. Spider. <laughs> Gunpoint! Renaissance! Blasphemy! Nice. Nice. This definitely doesn't look like a framing in any way. Anyway, what have you got? You've got oh, the ambush of the spider. We have uh, Jernadar Elara's son and Halvedar Lanja Sidha Sinha will hide in the boats and guard the second entrance at the Titania printing house. I've, oh, it makes sense they go after the Titania printing house after all those spy messages being printed there. Front door. Uh, I will approach the front door with Jermadar El Alara Sinha and Halvadar Kirthi Bandar. Okay, we got all the names here. I, I like that it's just like, these are the dots. 
Just so you know which one I am. <laughs> it's got the little the little parasol. Nice. Oh. <gasps> Suspects. People. People. Let's look at this first. Uh, Master Putra Sun. Thank you for just giving me the name again because I I already forgot it from <laughs> from like five minutes ago. I have already shared my suspicions about the disaster of the rebirth ritual. He is one of the shareholders of Titania Printing House, but my honor does not allow me to reveal his name. Oh. However, he goes by the name of Spider, and I plan to meet him at the printing house on November 22nd. Let me settle my private matter with him first, and then he is all yours. Interesting, interesting. So these are the suspects, I guess. Yeah, here we go, from Siva Udawate, Master of Archive and Library. Master Putra's son, these are all five shareholders of Titania Printing House. All of them are affiliated with the Seven Seas Company. Who would have thought it? Definitely not a suspicious company at all, at all. Have a good hunt. I hope you will arrest the bastard. Here we go. Oh, hey, what do you know? Albert Cloudsley. <laughs> Place of birth, Blackfield Albion, age 34. Height three and seven eight a half. Weight ninety, sir. Married three children. Sent by the Seven Seas Company head office to help establish new trading posts in Lanka. Dangerous and very arrogant. Cannot be bothered to learn the basics of common Lemurian to improve his situation here. Oh, I hate those. They hate this kind of people. <laughs> At least learn to say hello or something. Like put in a little effort. Uh, Narcissus Montalban, place of birth unknown, age claims to be a thousand years old. I believe it. Height four and a quarter, birth weight two hundred. Quite heavy. In his own words, married to alchemy. 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 Ha! Ah, natural philosopher, alchemist, and astrologer, banned from the Society of Hermetic Thought for revealing their secrets claims to be able to switch someone's life off. Several philosophers who had conflicts with him died from unexplained causes. Very dangerous. I think, mayhaps, the man doth have golden idol. Mayhaps. <laughs> mayhap golden idol here. <laughs> nice. Nice. Also, Reptile Run, hello! Welcome, welcome! Claude Davro. Place of birth, Chateau Davro in Aquitan. Age 38, height 3 and a quarter, weight 70. Widower, late wives were Savoy, Duchess, and Countess of Calvados. An Aquitanian Marquis. Despite his stature, he is a master swordsman, has killed at least seven people in duels, and was subsequently banished from Aquitania. Oh, he was too good. Banished for being too great. Wears expensive clothing. Afraid of heights. May attack without provocation. Extremely dangerous. I'm seeing a, a link here. Very dangerous. Dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Are you also dangerous? Somewhat dangerous. Okay. Oberon Geller. Oh. Place of birth. Ship Relentless Harpia. Age around 42. Height around 4, weight around 95. Unmarried, has concealed for the last five years that he has a Lankan mistress. Ooh. A surgeon hypnotherapist, probably an agent of the Seven Seas Company, has connections to the underworld and is well respected among pirates for providing medical services to their people. Curious about Lankan and Lemurian culture, a charming charlatan who avoids damaging his own reputation, Somewhat dangerous. He did seem very smooth. Gotta say that. And then, is this the one who was drunk? Yeah, this was. Oh. Oh. Okay. Rub, uh, Rub, Ruben. Ruben Hendricks. Place of birth was the London Birth Slums in Albion. Around fifty-five. Around three and three quarters. Around eighty weight. Unmarried. A shipwright and former carpenter on the pirate ship Rabid Raccoon. That's a great name for a ship. <laughs> that is such a good ship name. Has a wooden leg, pretends to be drunk and quiet when it benefits him. 
I see. That is how he would be able to be passed out drunk when gunshots are happening. Because he was not passed out drunk. He was just pretending to be. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, steals and has instigated riots. <laughs> Made a fortune in Pajak, which makes me wonder if he hides cards in his wooden leg. <laughs> Somewhat dangerous. I, there was something else. Oh, I think it's just instigated again. I thought there was something new that I could pick up as a word, but it's... It's the same one. I already got that one. Oh, and Reptile Run, thank you for following too. Hope you enjoy your time here. Thanks for, for sticking around, for deciding to continue the, the adventures of figuring out, I guess figuring out who the spider is right now. Right, who we got here then? These are gonna be the other names we had. Ha, you thought that the disguise would have saved you? Saved? No luck for you, spider. Uh, a curved sword with a clean blade. And... That looked ominous at first glance. Okay, tonight during the operation, we will practice an old Lankan code. Imagine what number the picture represents. In the sentence, count to the word matching that number. Follow your orders. So that's... The picture represents a one there, clearly, so that's follow. Then over here, that's five, so one, two, three, four, five. Me. Trust no one except me. So that's literally just follow me. That's... Okay, we know how the code works. We got the code. Excellent. Is that for here? Approach. No, it's nothing to do with that. Never mind. Uh, that's good to know, though. We know the code over here. He appears not to be armed, Master. We just searched him. You just got a club and a cool hat. And how about you at the back? The music in this is so good. You also just have a club. It is hard to understand him, Master. The mask is muffling his voice. We have to get it off to properly interrogate him. Yeah, it's... That is one heck of a mask. That is very, very much the mask. Right, I'm guessing I can go in here. Can I go? Yes. Yes, I, I can go up there as well, but I want to go in this printing house. I want to go in the printing house. I'm curious. Uh, the mask is missing. There's two other masks. I love them. They're terrifying. What is this? Oh, time. All right, eight o'clock, eight o'clock. Can I, can that change? Okay, so that's one and that's 12. Okay. Okay, so that's gonna be a system of like daytime, nighttime, figuring out the time. Interesting. And what's this too? Oh, wait. Oh, this is useful. Okay, palace guard. There's the Halvadar, the Jemadar, and the Subadar. And the special guard, we have the Haviladar, the Jemasia, and the Subadar. Oh, Jemadar. Yeah, these are all the same. It's just the ones from each area, how they're different. Royal army, royal navy. It depends on their hat. That's how they're different. I love this. I love this. I was looking at all of them like, these are some wild hats. Can you imagine, like, being apprehended by a guardsman who had, like, a party hat with streamers coming out of it? <laughs> so intimidating. Terrifying. The, the flowers. That's very useful, though. Like, just from that, we know here we've got... There, you don't have anything in your hat. You've got one little blue bit. You've got a little red bit. So we've got two special guard and the palace guard. Oops, I didn't want to look at that yet. So we know this is the palace guard and then the other two are the special guard. So we can use that to figure out the names, I guess. Right, back, back in here, I want to look through everything again. The music in this really is incredible. Right, what is this? Oh, 
Oh, educational pictures for little Putra by Spider. Wow, look at them. Oh, look. It's magic. Look at that, the magic. The, 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 that's Pujak? Pajak, Pajak. Pajak, that's what it was called. It's all the Pajak cards and magical wine. And over here, we've, we've got a nice little puppet system going on. <laughs> we've got a gift over here. And then you fly away. Goodbye. Okay. So I guess this is about rigging the ritual. Over here, it's like, he's pouring it out. It's like, wow, that's magic. He'll be like, look how much other magic I can do. Rig this little ritual. Be like, yeah, that's great magic. Let me give you a gift. And then they're gone. <laughs> can I look at... I want... Oh, no, those are, the, those are the notes with the secret codes behind it. Nice. What is on this desk? Green. Okay, November 22nd, Friday. Meeting with the nephew of the bookworm. Pick up the pistol from the repairman. Buy supplies from the boat trip. Meeting with the double widower. Rehearse the escape plan. Meeting with the money bag. Meeting with the old butterfly. Meeting with the green boy. Okay. We gotta figure out who those are. Well, double widower. That's gonna be the one who's... We, ha we had all the, the character profiles. I'll be able to find it through that. Ooh, we've got three parts in the book here. We have Youngster. <gasps> ah, these old Lemurians are impenetrable. My spies report that a young Lemurian, Zubiri Kara, has arrived in the city. He is the son of Lemur Lemurian priest, priest Yupik Kara. He probably does not know much about their old culture, but apparently has amazing Pajak skills. He sure does. He sure caused trouble with them. Artifact. Oh, wait, oh? More and more evidence has led me to believe that the Lankan legend about the Fountain of Youth on a secret island and the rumours about the Forbidden Golden Idol refer to the same thing. I think they do. Knowing what we know about the Golden Idol, I think they are. The Murians are extremely sceptical about their technological past. The topic is completely taboo in their society, which could be related to the downfall of their empire. They are reluctant to reveal the locations of their ancient technologies, but maybe in the future I could acquire some leverage. I think that Albert Cloudsley may have written this, and that he did get some leverage, and managed to get hold of that golden idol. Right, Lemurians. They have forced my hand with their conservative stubbornness. I will not let these old mystics sabotage the Seven Seas company needs. It is time to invest in some creative research and see if I can find more, find more about their secretive rituals and what makes them tick. What a peculiar principle, life for life. If you do something good or bad to Lemurian, he is obliged to return the same amount back. Is it really that black and white or is there some diploma diplomatic leeway? Interesting, interesting. Right, what does this say? Oh! I am ready to settle my debt to you. I will arrive on Friday at the time you specified. Please, be alone. Okay. Then over here. Oh! Ah, the code! The code! The code! This is what the code's gonna be for, I'm sure. Okay, we are commissioning prints of these titles. Uh, Common Guards, Cuts and Master Strikes with the Longsword by Paul Weber. Will of the Demon by Isida Dux. When Crabs Attack by Jan Visser. I want to read that one. Proof of Life After Death by Mahesh. Lemurian Legends by John Swinty. And Seven Leaves Poetry by Samanda Orfrag. Okay, so which... The number which each one refers to. So two. We've got Guards, Will, Attack, After... Lemurian leaves. Oh! Yep, guards will attack after Lemurian leaves. We got the code. 
we got to use the code. I love that. I love this. Okay, there are still so many questions. Oh, we can go across. This, this. Oh, we're up the top. Oh. Oh, I thought these were the scooters for a second then. Wait, maybe they are. They might be scooters. They look like it. Anyway, hi. You look slightly dead. Yep, the man is not breathing. And he has an axe in his head. A curved sword with a clean blade. Here we go. Tonight during the operation we will practice an old Lankan code. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that one is to guard front door. Guard front door. Well, see, why are they doing these instructions in code and telling you what the code is at the start? That's, it's not, it's not encrypted at this point. <laughs> okay, well, either way, you were told to guard the front door. Um, you died. Right. Titania Printing House. Is there something relevant about this logo? Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. I guess we go back down now. Oh, that's just going to be another way to get around to here. That makes sense. Right, I'm on 39 out of 40, which means I've missed, like, a single word somewhere. It might be here. I did not look at all of these words. No, it's not in here. Probably here, then? What has words? These have so many words. Nephew of the bookworm. Uh, double widower. Moneybag. Old butterfly. Green boy. So they all have their own little nicknames. Over here, I got all the names from there. Locations. I I think I picked up all of these. Life for life. I keep thinking I found something because I'm moving my cursor so quickly and it becomes a hand and then corrects itself. <laughs> yeah, Master of Library. Well, they were tipped off about when the guards are going to attack, so... That is interesting. Right, I'm so curious about this education, these educational pictures. It's gonna be about figuring out who they refer to. Like clearly here, I think the butterfly is the, no. I was gonna say something, actually nothing is clear at all. The spider, the butterfly. Well, right, are you palace guard? I think he's palace guard. I think he might be palace guard. But not like Jemadar or Subadar. Right, I wonder where this one last word is. I think I'm gonna go into thinking mode and I feel like doing that will probably help me realize if there's a word I need. Okay, all right. Oh my goodness, so much here. It's all about this picture story. The story is telling what happened here. All about telling what happened here. I'm pretty sure it's about like the ritual fraud. A lot of this is going to be about the ritual fraud. Let's start by going back through these again. Ba -ba -ba -ba, married three children. Married to alchemy. Double widower. Uh, Claude is the double widower. Yeah, meeting, meeting with the double widower was Claude. Rehearse the escape plan. So who's going to be Moneybag Old Butterfly Green Boy? Let's try to figure it out. Who's going to be Green Boy? Oh, 
Oh, is Albert Cloudsley green boy? Because he's always wearing green? And also because he's new and doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's green in the team. Right, over here. Claims to be a thousand years old. I'm guessing this is... I'm guessing, I'm guessing he might be the old butterfly. I think... I think he's the old butterfly. I think Green Boy is Albert Cloudsley. I think Old Butterfly is the, the alchemist who's like a thousand years old, who I'm pretty sure knows how to use the golden idol to take people's lives. Uh, Double Widower we know is the... the that guy. <laughs> the nephew, oh, nephew of the bookworm. He's a nephew to anybody. Hmm. Unsure. This is very curious. Right, because Oberon's the doctor. There was something about the doctor as well at some point. I don't know who would be Moneybags. Like, maybe Albert Clowsley could be Moneybags. Because he's the... the, the trade... Post arrogant doesn't want to learn just here to do the trade stuff. Hmm. Oh. They just have the coat for the, the printing company. But uh, at gunpoint? Uh, ad, ad, uh? Oh, maybe like had me at gunpoint. Something. It, the insolence. The blasphemy. mean with the time is there's something in here huh educational pictures for little putra by spider huh I'm trying to figure out what's happening here like i'm pretty sure a lot of this is related to the ritual it's about like the ritual is fake they pretended it's magic everyone else believed it was magic Oh, you've got the the bar. There he is. He's got the the little parasol. Huh. Right. I think this the little magic thing. I think this is the golden idol. That's. I'm. I'm just gonna start with the things that I'm pretty certain about. I think here. Performing all of this magic, this magic, I think, is being performed by the Golden Idol. But I'm not sure about any of the rest of it. Let's try and go through. Uh, the spider created a situation where he... Somethinged someone's something. Hmm. Therefore, ah, oh. have I not got sabotaged here? Have I seen the word sabotage ever anywhere? I feel like I need sabotage, but I don't think I've seen sabotage. I don't think anyone's mentioned sabotage. It may be a different word I need. Right, I'm going back down here. Let's let's see what you're holding. Rebirth ritual. It's I'm. It's by the name of Spider. Ba 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 ba. Captured you. You'll answer for the death of the princess. Ambush of the spider. I picked up those. Oh, I wonder I wonder if we can use the icon to know who the the master of archive and library is. Like being represented by an elephant? I guess elephants are very smart. Hmm. Where is the 
this word. I just need one word. Oh, switch. It could be switch. Clothing. Look at his little smug little face, though. Look at look at this guy. Look at him. He's so smug. The rest of them all just look kind of miserable, but he's just got a little smile. He's just... He's just having a time. Oh, no, I guess he's smiling, too. Oh, that, that's more of a I'm drunk kind of face. She is definitely drunk. Okay, well, to start with, I don't think he has a wooden leg, so I don't think it's that guy. Ah, oh, they both have clubs. And you have sword. What else did this say? Yeah, just follow me. He's, he's married to alchemy. I feel like this guy is probably the one in the stories here. The old spider. I feel like that guy's the most likely one to be it. But I could be wrong. I'm still wondering how this is relevant to anything too. We've got like 1612. Just like the tide? Like how the tide goes in and out with the moon? It's gonna be related to something. And when I find out what it is, I'm probably gonna be really mad at myself that I didn't figure it out sooner. Because I need to figure out who you are. Alright, well we can figure that out from the plan here. Yeah, Jermadar and Halvadar will hide in the boats. Uh, the front door is Jermadar and Halvadar. Okay, so... Was Jermadar the lowest one? No, Halvadar is the lowest one. So you're the you're the Halvadar because we have the Jermadar over here. So front door, Halvadar, that's Kirthi, Kirthi Bandar. Okay, we've got his name. We know who you are. We got you. Okay. Right, this is so interesting. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. I've just revealed something. I've just I've just figured something out. I'm pretty sure I think I figured something out. I'm going to feel smart if I'm correct. Therefore, you pick Kara revealed the secret of the golden idol to the Raja. Is Raja a word I can pick up? Is that the word I'm missing? I don't have the word Raja. I think I think Raja. I think I need Raja, but I don't know if I've seen that anywhere. Have I really not seen the word Raja in any of these? Oh. Escape plan. Youngster, we've got artifact. And the Murians. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't got the word Raja anywhere around here. Can't take any of those. Hmm, maybe it's something different then. Yeah, because they don't have anything. Look for you, ba ba ba. Spider. So much spider. So many small parts I need to figure out here. 
this what these these DLC cases have all been incredible. I've been loving these ones. But they, they feel a little harder as well. I don't know if it's just because I'm tired today, which is also very possible. But I'm having to think way harder with the few brain cells I have. I can go further up! Well, this helps. This helps. Okay, that's what I was missing. Also, Alnom, hello! Lovely to see you! Welcome, welcome! I'm using my brain. I'm using my brain cells. There we go. Oh! A large cloak. And a beard. They are scooters! I was right! It's so funny because I saw them and I was like, no, nah, there's no way they can be scooters. That would be silly. But they are scooters. I'm so glad. And then I guess I'm looking at the paint over here. Oh, spider! Hee hee! And now I'm looking at the paint. Oh, we got red footprints! Over here. Is this the escape plan? This is the escape plan. Okay, and this weighs 30, sir. A basket maximum load, four vases. So the maximum that can get away on the escape thing is... 120. So that one guy cannot use the escape thing. The the one guy who's like 200. Are there any words I can pick up around here though? But yeah, it's like maximum load four vases. So if a vase is 30, then four vases is 120. So anyone over 120 can't use the basket. And the red paint. Ugh. Why are there just massive pools of paint? What is this? Oh, down here. Oh, oh, time. Time. It's six. It's six. This is how we tell the time. It's six. Okay. Okay, I'm going back to that diary in a second. Once I've moved my mouse over every little part and probably still missed something. Okay, I'm going back down. Here, here, six o'clock. Meeting with the double widower. Friday at the time, the time you specified, please be alone. Double Widower, six o'clock. Huh. So does that mean that down here with the mask stuck on his head is Claude Davro? He does wear expensive clothing. The, that top does look quite expensive. I think that's him. I think that's him. I, th I think I'm gonna put that in. And I also don't think he's the spider. <laughs> he's not the spider, he's just been framed. Right, so what was his profile? He's only 70, sir. 95, 80, 90. Then he's 200. He's the only one who would not be able to get away using the basket. Unless he had the golden idol and could simply fly away. Makes you think. Makes you think. I've already forgotten his name. I'm a fool. I'm silly. I'm very silly. Also, yeah, isn't the music in this so good? The whole soundtrack has been incredible. Narcissus Montalban. Okay. I think he's the spider. Nope. Okay. I've got a lot of this wrong then, I think. Interesting. Let's go back. Over here. Because, yeah, that's, that's at six. So, six o'clock. Yeah, six is like right in the middle too, so even if you reverse it, it's still the same.
So yeah, six o'clock was meant to be meeting with the double widower. Oh, 6 a.m. Meeting with the green boy. Oh! Oh, this is 6 a.m. This is 6 a.m. It's the green boy, which I'm pretty sure is Albert Cloudsley of. Ah, uh, I think. We'll soon find out. He sure does get himself in some situations. I'll put this in again, but I don't think this is, is right. No. I think it's going to be something else. I'm wondering if um, Narcissus Montalban might actually be this little butterfly who learned how to do everything from the spider. That's what I'm wondering. Let's look at the story again. Here we go. What a, what a lovely little story this is. So over here we've got uh, the spider is... Having a good time here with this butterfly. And then we've got the blue wing butterfly. And then over here the puppets. <laughs> Giving a gift. A gift for the magic to the spider. And then the spider is leaving them hmm. I think this might be I think this might actually oh this might be what's his name uh, Zubiri Kara and then the older one is uh, Yupik Kara who got framed no, two or fewer slots are incorrect. I'm almost there then. I'm almost there. Is it the other way around? No, because, like, the beard. This is old. This might not be Zubiri. Let's go have a look at this again. There we go. Okay, I think this is a uh, Ubik Kara, because this is, like, Ubik performing the ritual giving thanks for the ritual working and then the spider vanishes but then who it's like red wings versus blue wings the fact that it says as well educational pictures for little Petra who's connected on each side that's what I need to figure out ah Hmm. Mysterious. I need to look at everything else too. I, I think figuring out some of these might help me work out the rest of it too. I think finding the other word would also help me out, but... here like when he revealed the secret of the golden idol i think a lot of like revealing the secret of the golden idol around here where's secret there's no secret wait location oh did he reveal the location of the golden idol to raja Did he switch the location of the Golden Idol? Maybe it's that. Uh, help the Seven Seas Company. The spider concealed the location of the Golden Idol at the Raja's court. But did you pick do that? Did you pick Kara Settle it? No, this is just wrong. Okay. There's a lot of guessing there, so I didn't think that would be right, but 
Oh, I feel like this is going to be one of those situations where when it pieces together, I'm going to... I'm going to have, like, the real wow moment. <laughs> hmm. Because we've got, like, concealed, revealed. We've got ambush, switch, save, instigated. Oh, so... Oh, here we go. We can do this, though, at least. Uh, Putra's son had planned to ambush somebody after the meeting at Titania Press, but someone had warned that someone with an encoded message, so he forced someone to do something and wear a mask. Hmm. May oh maybe switch location. Oh, switch clothing. <gasps> so he forced someone to switch clothing and wear a mask. Then someone was caught as he left through the door. Meanwhile, oh no. Meanwhile, someone left through the door and then killed Kirthi Bandara and escaped. Oh, left through the basket. Could I pick up the word basket? Can I pick up the word basket from over here somewhere? Or like here? I feel like I tried. Yeah, it didn't let me pick up the word basket. Uh. Oh! The scooter! Oh my goodness, wait, this is gonna be a clue. Also, Max, hello! Welcome, welcome, how's it going? Thank you for the raid, come on in, look at the scooter. <laughs> Welcome, welcome! Oh, I hope you had fun with Baldur's Gate 3. How far have you gotten? How far in the game are you? I hope you had a good stream! Thank you for bringing the raid this way! For anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games, and this game is not comfy. I would not call it comfy, but it's an incredible puzzle game. Uh, I'm having such a blast with it. I'm currently playing the DLC for this game after completing the main game last week and the DLC has been so tricky in the best kind of way. I'm having so much fun. It's so clever. Everything is so clever. The way it all pieces together is just nah, chef's kiss. Oh, you just started an honor mode run. Oh. Yeah, I would never be able to do that. I I saw that they like added an achievement for honor mode and a little part of me was like, I do like achievements. Do I want to do it? But I don't think I could. I save too much. I just, I like having 20 save files for something. I, I wouldn't be able to cope with the devastation of losing. <laughs> but, oh, good luck with that, though. Oh, it's going to be a challenge. But I believe in you. I believe. You can do it. Just, you just got to be really careful, I guess. Which is quite hard in a game like Baldur's Gate 3 where the weirdest things can happen at any point. Oh, you only had three near full party wipes. <gasps> That's fine. That's nothing. They weren't full party wipes. So you're doing fine. <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter how bad things get so long as you can drag it back somehow. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for bringing the raid this way though. And um, if you have to go to bed now, I fully understand. It is quite late. But thank you for bringing the raid this way. Over to my, my puzzle Sunday. Trying to work out what's happening. Missing a single word. This looks like a fake beard. Fake beard with a large cloak. Did someone literally just scooter away? Right, because someone went barefoot to the boats and escaped through the boats? Hmm. I don't have the word boat either. <laughs> oh, could it be escape? It might be escape. Ah, uh, yeah. Running to bed, that's absolutely fine. No, I, I know how late it is because we're in the same time zone. That doesn't usually happen. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you rest well. Thank you for, for bringing the raid over this way. I've had a great stream so far. I'm having such a blast with this game. 
I'm excited to, to keep playing it more. You are missing the same word. Oh, I'm glad it's not just me being really obtuse then. Boat trip? Escape plan? Feels like I should be able to pick those up. But it won't let me. I feel like it's going to be the silliest little word now. <laughs> it's not over here, is it? Hmm. Look at all the scooters, though. There's so many scooters. <laughs> and there's the boats. And this was all the, the plan for the ambush. Oh! It. It's hatch. I did not pick up the word hatch. It makes sense. There, that's that's a word I need. Yep, someone was caught as he left through the hatch. Meanwhile, someone else left through the front door, then killed Kirthi Bandara and escaped. There it is. Yeah, this is. It's because the, I was like, there's. There is not. I need to find the word that fits here. That that definitely. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I went back and checked that. But oh, I can't believe I missed that. I thought I was so thorough with that note the first time around. That's why I didn't really pay much more attention to it as I was going on. Right here we go. I think here this is going to be revealing something. Oh, to help the Seven Seas Company. Is this going to be the sabotage of the rebirth ritual? It could be the sabotage of the rebirth ritual at the Raja's Court. To help Seven Seas. He's revealing that it's sabotaged. But then someone settled it when they bloomed the bloom of the bloom bloom to Raja. I think that is going to be revealing the location. Oh, or revealing the secret. I don't know. I don't have secret. I think it would be location then. Revealing the location of the golden idol to Raja. Maybe? Is it that? Two or fewer slots are incorrect. Oh. Oh. No, the spider instigated the sabotage. The spider instigated it. Spider here pulling all the puppet strings. There. The spider instigated the sabotage of the rebirth ritual. But then Yupik revealed the location of the golden idol to save his son. And then because the spider had... Hmm... Did the spider save somebody's life? Hmm. Hmm, over here. I think up here. Let's see if I can figure out this first part. Oh, I can right click to remove them. Oh, that's so much easier. I was dragging them back to the box. Okay, the spider created a situation where he. Oh, where he saved somebody's life, I think. Whose life did he save? Hold on. <gasps> oh, I've just, I've just had that moment. I've just had that moment. I've just had that brain, everything clicking together moment. I've just had that incredible, incredible brain moment. Spider created a, a situation where he saved Zubiri's life. The spider over on Gala. I think this is the the Claude Davro. No, it's not. Okay, but I think I think the spider is over on Gala. 
because the spider created the situation in the Pajak game where he saved Zubiri's life. Therefore... Where is Kara on my list? Can't use it. Oh, it's locked into here now, that's why. Uh, therefore, Zubiri Kava um, revealed the secret of the golden idol to the spider. <gasps> Almost, okay. Almost, okay. Hmm. Because that, like, I, I'm pretty sure it's Oberon. He insta he set up the whole situation. He he was the one being really like smug and like, Bill, I'm gonna beat you today, like riling him up, getting him mad, knowing that he would probably cause a rampage. At which point he could dive in and save Zubiri from this horrible situation and figure out all of the, the secrets. Oh, is it gonna be the secret of the ritual? Is the secret of the rebirth ritual? Yes! So Zubiri revealed the secret of the rebirth ritual to Oberon after Oberon saved his life. And then to help Seven Seas, he went and sabotaged the ritual. But then Yupik Kara settled it when he revealed the location of the Golden Isle to Raja. Alright, because the spider had saved Zubiri's life... Hmm, the rest. Okay. Okay. I need to remove these. They're confusing me. I get this out of here. Okay, because the spider had saved Zubiri Kara's life. Here we go. <laughs> to the game devs, you don't die when some idiot cuts off one of your ears. No, but it's a, the perfect excuse to instigate a riot where everyone starts getting killed. And then he has an excuse to be like, oh yes, I saved your life, you would have died. Even if he maybe wouldn't have. Even if nobody was going after him except for the guy who wanted to cut his ear off. Like, maybe nobody was trying to kill him, but in that kind of chaos, he could easily step forward and say, hey, I saved you. And it would be very convincing. It would be very easy to convince someone of that. In that kind of, like, high adrenaline situation. Ha ha. He has a Lankan mistress. Oh. Ba 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 ba. Connected to the underworld. Well respected for providing medical services to pirates. Curious about the culture. Avoids damaging his own reputation. I love here that his is like somewhat dangerous. I think he's probably the most dangerous of all of them, honestly. It's all about the rest of this. He's definitely involved in some way, I'm pretty sure. Married to alchemy. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, plan to meet him. Uh, let me settle my private matter with him first and then he's all yours. Okay, so we're looking at the timing here as well. Now six o'clock is like meeting with the double widower or meeting with the green boy. Hmm. Meeting with the nephew of the bookworm. No, wait, yes. The bookworm. The bookworm is... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I forgot his name already. Uh, you pick... You pick Kara. Is the bookworm. So then the nephew... Nephew is Zuberi? I thought it was son, though. Hold on. Siblings? More siblings? Maybe. Mm. Uh, 
I need some more monster. I'm gonna have some more monster. <laughs> Every single cog is whirring at the moment. <laughs> and some of them are getting stuck and going in the same loop that's not connected to anything else. Alright, pick up the pistol from the repairman. Supplies for the boat trip. Meeting with the double widower. Rehearse the escape plan. Meeting with the money bag. Well, I think because there's all the paint and stuff out, I think they already rehearsed the escape plan. I think that's why all the paint was there. That was their escape plan. They planned it out. Meeting with the money bag. Meeting with the old butterfly. So then it's meeting with the green boy. So who's the green boy? Who's the green boy? Like there's gotta be a hint somewhere to know who who's who. Huh. Right, well we know that uh the one guy cannot escape through that because he weighs 200 and the max weight is like 150. So he would not be able to escape that way. So he would have to escape another way? So was he the one who went out the front? Narcissus Monta Montalban? Hmm. Hmm. A few things. There's, there's stuff I'm wrong about here. Am I wrong about the name of... guy who died? I don't think so. Because here we've got a Jamadar and Halvadar. And Jamadar and Halvadar. Oh, but he said he will approach the front door. Have they not done that yet then? Hold on. Because he's down here now. They're all down here, except for the one who died. Because it's, yeah, it's Kirthi Bandara. And it is Halvidar, right? Yeah, Halvidar. There isn't like the the pink plume on the hat. Yep, guard, guard front door. Clonked in the head with an axe, though. That is quite a way to go. Ready to settle my debt to you. check something uh, blah, 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 blah. already shared my suspicions about the disaster of the rebirth ritual he's one of the share I think uh, what's his name I keep forgetting everyone's name I think Zubiri may have written this note I think Zubiri may have written this note starting to be suspicious yeah it's like my honor does not allow me to reveal his name I think that would be like because he's in his debt because he saved his life he can't reveal the name but he plans i plan to meet him at the printing house on november 22nd and then there i'm ready to settle my debt to you i will arrive on friday at the time you specified please be alone that's here that's the message uh, guards, guards will attack after Lemurian leaves. He settled the debt because he had his life saved by Oberon. So then he saved Oberon's life by tipping him off. Okay. Because the spider had saved Zubiri's life, Zubiri Kara revealed the Am. Uh, there is ambush, right? Ambush is a blue one. Ah. Hmm. Oh, maybe. Oh. Did he reveal the location of the golden idol? Ah. 
at Titania Press. No, something else. Okay. Uh, prior to that, uh, Zuberi Kara had tipped off Oberon. Hmm. I'm not sure. The fact that uh, I'm I'm gonna go back to this third one again, because over here it's a. Uh, this is ambush. This is clearly ambush. This is definitely ambush. So I'm thinking. Uh, Pietra's son had planned to ambush Oberon Geller after the meeting at Titania Press, but. Zubiri Kara, Kara had warned Oberon with an encoded message. So he forced someone to... I think this is change clothing or switch clothing. Force somebody to switch clothing and wear a mask. And somebody was caught as he left through the hatch. Meanwhile, I think he's going to be the one who left through the, the front door then killed. I think it is Kathy Bandara. I think I'm right with that. So the question here is like, who did he force to switch clothing and wear a mask? Let's look at their profiles and see who's like a similar build and stuff. He'd be too short. It wouldn't be him. Is it Albert Cloudsley? I think it might be Albert Cloudsley. I think he forced Albert Cloudsley to... <laughs> I'm gonna try it. And Albert Cloudsley was caught. No, it's not Albert Cloudsley. Is it Claude then? Okay, it's not Claude. Yeah, it's just the question of who was forced to switch clothing and wear a mask. It's you, something, insolence, blasphemy, at gunpoint. Reuben, maybe? Can't see if he has a wooden leg or not. It's very possible. That is quite a thin leg. Oh. look through this again. Ba, ba, ba. Meetings, meetings, meetings. Right, because I don't know when he would have been tipped off, like when this would have been sent. Ba, 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 ba. Artifact. Minions. Diplomatic leeway. I love that thought of just like, yeah, I'm gonna get you in my debt. Let's see if there's any democratic leeway. Meeting with the old butterfly, meeting with the green boy, meeting with the money bag. Ha! Ah. That's so much. I guess Reuben Hendrix is like the closest to him in build and stuff. I'm gonna try that. No, it's not Reuben. Okay. Hmm. I need to figure out over here. That's like, I, it's who has the mask on at the moment. The only one I haven't tried is Nar Narcissus Montalban. Wait, hold on a second. There is like the fake beard down here. And the large cloak. Why is there like a green polka dot cloak? What does that mean? What does it mean? 
Huh. Like the fact that you were killed by a massive axe as well. Who would have a massive axe out of these? I don't feel like any of them would. Huh. Oh, unless... Oh. Unless it's Oberon who just left through the front door. Killed someone and left. No, I feel like that would be too dangerous. If he... If he knows someone's, like, trying to come and catch him, he wouldn't just walk out the front door, would he? Unless... Unless he would. Look, it's like, seeing him fly off here, I'm just like, did he just fly off with the idol? Maybe? What happened? Where you go? Oh. It's over here. I need to figure out, like, the rest of the people. Like, what... Related? I'm not sure. I, I do feel like this is you pick Kara. Possibly. No, I think this is Zubiri. Because this is like the panel here with Zubiri. He saved Zubiri's life. And Zubiri told him about the ritual. I think that's Zubiri. Zubiri. Boop. Boop. That's not the Golden Idol. That's the rebirth ritual. I'm so silly. That's why it's not been working this whole time. I I was I thought I got these wrong, but these were like the first things I figured out because they seem so obvious. <laughs> it's because they are they were obvious because they were right. I'm so silly. Nice. And then this is really cool as well because you notice here like the the wings are gone. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be because Oberon now has the idol, so he can't fly anymore. Haha. <laughs> But the spider can. The spider's got the wings now. Ha! Huh. Okay. I think Oberon may have just gone through the door. With the power of the idol, I think he genuinely just went through the door. And I think it might be Albert Cloudsley. It's not. Okay. I've got to try it. It's, it feels like it would be so weird if it wasn't either of these two. I don't know who who he'd force to, to switch clothing and wear a mask. Leaving through the hatch. I feel like I'm missing a little something here. I don't want to just like brute force and guess every single name. I want to try and figure it out. I want that moment of realization. Like the moment when I realized here that this, it was Oberon. <laughs> I, uh, huh. I don't know who's behind this mask. Who are you? Who are you? You're talking about gunpoint insolence blasphemy. really does make me think it's him. So maybe he's wrong. Are you wrong? Who is that guy? Who's the other... Uh... Maybe he's one of the ones who was hiding in the boat? No, he was, he was, he was literally told to guard the front door. Approach the front door, guard the front door. It's not clear enough here. None of it's clear enough. Also, Rory, hello! What's my favorite energy drink? Oh, I have no idea. It might be the one that was thrown at my head just now. It might be the one that's flitting up um, to the right of my screen. But welcome, welcome. I like monster energy. Hi. Thank you for the hydrate too. I'm gonna have a sip. Probably shouldn't be drinking more monster at half past midnight, but who cares? Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag please sponsor me, monster. I love you. 
I love your drinks, thank you. Uh, specifically Monster Energy Ultra, though. I I only really like the, the zero sugar ones. I, I like the sugar-free ones the most. I just like the flavors of them. Uh, you drink Monster to go to sleep? Honestly, me too. Uh, like, I have ADHD, so <laughs> stimulants don't have the same effect on me as non-ADHD brains. So yeah, I, I tend to have caffeine to calm down a bit as well. I don't get, like, the waking up effect from it. <laughs> but welcome in. Also, Lyra, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. I'm trying to piece together these clues I have, and my brain is finally hailing, uh, uh, failing me. Right, because they're, they're guarding the second entrance, which is the hatch. These ones approaching the front door. It's Jonadar Elara Sinha and Halvadar Kirthi Vandara. But yeah, it was the Hal... It was the Halvadar, wasn't it? Yeah, Halvadar. You're the one who died. Quite horrifically as well. Hello. Oh, that mask is not coming off, is it? Is it, like, literally locked onto him? It's a little ter terrifying. But yeah, whatever's going on here, like, this is not the spider. But I don't know who this is. <laughs> Someone going on about insolence and blasphemy. Who are you? Unless... Unless you got Zuberi to do it. Meeting with Zuberi, like, forced him to change places. No, okay, never mind. I feel like the rest of this is right. I think this is the problem, but I could still be wrong as well. And I think, I think switch clothing and wear a mask makes a lot of sense. But I just need to figure out who's getting caught here. But yeah, I think Oberon is the one who went through the door, killed Kirthi Bandara and escaped. Flew off with his golden idol. Oh, this game is so incredible though. I feel like I'm going to feel so silly when I figure out what it actually is. <laughs> it's going to be like one thing that I've gotten wrong, like something I've been overlooking the whole time. <laughs> I just haven't noticed it yet. Ah. Uh, maybe I just need more more monster. I'm gonna have some more monster. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Right, the one thing I'm sure of here is that Oberon is the spider. I had the, that beautiful moment of realization. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is, because this is like the spider creating a situation where he saved Zuberu's life. That was the whole thing at the Pajak tournament. He saved his life. It's, it's when we get to this part that I'm not so sure. Because here as well, we've got, we've got them just like poking around in the background. So we know here that all of the, the beetles, or all of, all of the ones that look like this, we, we know for a fact, because this is like Putra Sun, because we've got the little, <laughs> the little parasol. So we know that these are the Lemurians and these are the Lankans. but I don't think that's useful anymore. <laughs> uh. What's this? I just, uh. Meeting with the nephew of the bookworm. A double widower, money bag, old butterfly, green boy. Hmm. 
nephew of the bookworm. Who's the bookworm? Hold on, who's... Who's the bookworm? I think the bookworm here, this is going to be Siva Udawate. The master of archive and library. That's not like linked to any other name I know of here. Is it? I pick up the pistol from the repairman, uh, buy supplies for the boat trip is going to be for like the escape plan, I'm pretty sure. Double Widower, that's a uh, meeting with Claude Davro. Money bag? I, who would be the money bag? Would that be Albert Cloudsley? Uh. Old Butterfly. Wait, wait, would that be... Hold on. Old old butterfly would be Zubiri's dad. It would be Yupik. Why would he be? Oh. Oh. I think I get it. Because the spider had saved Zubiri's life. You pick is the one who meet who met with him. Oh Oh, I, th I think oh, this is interesting. Okay, if this is right, this is so interesting. Because the spider had saved Zubiri's life, you pick Kara uh, revealed the location of the golden idol to him at Titania Press. Huh. Oh, however, prior to that, Yupik Kera had tipped off the Raja about the location of the idol. Would it be that? But we don't have the Raja's name in here. Uh, prior to that. Hmm. I act I think I think I'm on the right track here. I think I'm on the right track here. I think like I didn't realize the meeting there. Like old butterfly, that's gotta be. That's gotta be his dad. Like that's gotta be It's gotta be Zubiri's dad. So Zubiri would it, I thought it was Zubiri this whole time because of, like, the debt of a life of a life. But I think it would be the father who would feel more indebted. Because they settled the debts there with the sabotage and stuff. Would it be? Would that be settled enough? What? Oh, what is, what is you pick playing at here? <laughs> Try to figure this out. Oh, I think I just, hold on, I, I'm going to go back and check something. I'm going to go back to another level and check something quickly. By going the wrong way, that's, that's how I'm going to do it. That's the cape, that's the cape, that's the cape. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I forced Yupik to switch clothing and wear a mask and then Yupik Kara was caught as he left through the hatch. Okay, two or fewer are incorrect, so that's so I'm close. But that means this is Yupik Kara. Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh! It's all piecing together. It's all piecing together. Thank you. Uh, old butterfly. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. Oh. Okay, so there's more here. It's like I feel like this is right. Wait, no. Oh, oh, the ball. 
It's Siva who warned with the encoded message. Siva Udawate is the one who sent the encoded message because it was the uh, the printing thing. Master of Library. That's right. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I love this game. So that makes this easier now. Because I'm pretty sure this is right. So, uh, because the spider had saved Zuberi's life. I, I took away Yupik Kara because it wasn't locked in yet. But Yupik Kara revealed the location of the golden idol to him. However, prior to that... Haha! -ha. No, yes, yes. However, prior to that, he tipped off Putra Sun. I think that's it. However, prior prior to revealing the location there, Yupik had tipped off Putra's son about the location of the spider. Do I have the word spider? Oh yeah, there is the word spider. Yes. <gasps> there it is. Oh yes. Oh yes, the scroll has been fulfilled. The Lemurian priest had hoped to fulfill his honor-bound duty by revealing the location of the golden idol to Oberon Geller before allowing Putra's son to ambush and arrest him. But Oberon had been forewarned, so he forced Yupik to exchange clothing at gunpoint and made him wear a mask. While Putra's people were distracted by the masked Yupik, Oberon, disguised as the priest, killed the guard and escaped with the map. Oh. This is very cool. There's still a few questions I'm not entirely sure about. Like... Like, what is the role that Ua... Ua... Urawate is playing in this? Oberon. And then this links into the first scenario, doesn't it? Yeah, this links into the first scenario. This is so cool. Listen, Albert, I hold a proposition of business. Thank you for playing the Spider of Lanka. I'm. Thank you for making it. That was so good. That was so fun. Oh, what's that? Hello. What's that? Oh, that's just the little thank you thing. Uh, miss some mention something missed. Wait, I want to try find it first. <laughs> what I missed, because it's like. Blah, blah, blah. This is what I. Ba ba ba. Old Lankan code. Hmm. Okay, feel free to let me know what I what I missed about this level. I will happily accept it at this point. Yeah, uh, the water level thing on the wall. Oh wait, I'm so silly. Yeah, it's eight o'clock when it's at twelve and one. So it would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. That, yeah. That's my brain. That's that's my 1am brain. So, yeah, 1am meeting with the old butterfly. Man, I ended up getting that. If, if I'd figured out that sooner, I would have worked all of this out sooner as well, I think. I got so fixated on the 6, with it being of the 6. Oh, I can't see for looking sometimes. But yeah, it, I'm I'm glad I just like looked through it and was trying to figure out whoever it was. Just <laughs> the moment of why would he be meeting with with Yupik? Ha! Huh. Oh, what a good game! What a good game! That was so fun. That was so good. It's so interesting going back here now as well. Knowing what we know. 
Oh, so good. Right, main menu. Also, I want to just go back to continue here and... <laughs> hey! Hey, look at these two! Hey! Hey, look at that! Who's this? Who's this? Albert Cloudsley has rights to two-thirds of all valuables. Oberon Geller has rights to a third of all valuables and any golden statues found for providing the map to the expedition site. It all links in so nicely. Oh, that was so good. That was so fun. See, a little part of me now is like, what if I just started the Lemurian Vampire right now? But I really should not, because it's already quarter to one. <laughs> oh, that was amazing, though. Oh, it was so good. So, yeah, I guess next week I'm going to do the Lemurian Vampire. And then... If I did this one in one stream, I think I can do the next one in one stream as well. Quite easily. Especially if I don't get distracted talking about things. <laughs> so then, next week, Lemurian Vampire. Week after, Outer Wilds DLC. I think that's the plan of action at the moment. <laughs> oh, that was so good, though. That was so clever. I feel like these ones were trickier to figure out, but not in, like a mean way like it never felt impossible to figure out I think a lot of it was down to me being tired today as well <laughs> like I wouldn't have missed the the water level thing if I had been fully awake I think I think that's the kind of thing I I would have spotted but yeah I fully just missed that one I even was looking at the eight o'clock so I was like can I change the time on that very smart moments but I did have some smart moments i Oh, that moment when I suddenly realized it was Oberon. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was so good. God, what moment was it? What What was the moment where I suddenly realized? There, it was like the honor and like the debt. Like repaying my debt and seeing the thing about a life for a life. And then suddenly realizing that was so fun. That was so good. Uh, you never decoded the newspaper in chapter two. Oh, <laughs> managed without it and went back and figured out the secret message with the info when it's solved. Oh, see, straight away, I was just like, well, if there's a code here, I'm going to immediately find that because because those are my favorite parts. Oh, that's so good, though. That was so fun, though. That was so fun. I'm I'm so glad I'm playing this. And now that I'm playing it as well, it makes me so excited for the sequel when that's going to come out, too. Uh, the... What's it called? It's just like the something else of the Golden Idol. What is it? What is it? It's the... It's not Persona 4 Golden. Uh... The Rise of the Golden Idol. The Rise of the Golden Idol is the one that... It's got a release date of 2024, so this year. So that's exciting. But oh, it looks so good. It looks so fun. It looks so good. I'm excited. I'm excited. I haven't even finished this one yet, and I'm still excited. Ah, <laughs> oh, so many of the words were hardly related to the line that you were looking for other patterns instead. Oh, yeah, it was just like... For me, I was just like, well, it's every every little thing like no that's the wrong one it's the wrong one it's here where's the lion nope where was the lion in the bush no who had the lion one? Oh, it was in here wasn't it was it yes here it is here it is because it's just, it's not just about, like, the fact that it's a lion. It is, like, it's got its mouth open, so eat, instinct, roar. For me, it was mostly just, like, going through and being like, it literally could not be anything else on that line. So, emperor would be, like, the closest thing because of, like, the king beast. But yeah, I think that's why it also says here as well, it, the, the method is curious. It's certainly an interesting way of doing it. But yeah, this one's a little easier because of it being a devil and knowing it's like devil, evil, 
lava, ominous, uh, otherworldly, killer, nightmares, ignited. It's... Although I did still get it wrong with the... <laughs> if you sail. <laughs> if you fail. I thought it was smirk, but looking back on it, I'm like, of course it's not a smirk. He's literally got his mouth open. Of course it's fear. But I got that. <laughs> But yeah, that was incredible. That was so much fun, and I'm so excited to do the next one next week as well. <laughs> All right, anyway, I think it is time for me to... Bloop. I'm going to head on over to here and we can find a raid target. But yeah, that was so much fun. I I love these games so much. I want more. I want... I want all of the games with the... Like, the... The deductive reasoning. I want put the pieces of the clues together and solve the mystery kind of games. But it's, it's like, I feel like it is a really hard genre to do well, because a lot of murder mystery type stuff, it does tend to just like hold your hand through the whole thing. Like you get so many obvious clues that it ends up being like, well, it can only be this one thing. So I prefer when it's a bit more vague and there are more potential things it could have been and then you find extra stuff to narrow it down, like that kind of style. Ah, oh, just amazing game though. Also for the first 30 minutes you missed the ritual chamber and thought the lady on the fire was killed as a reward for overcoming some challenge. Well, I mean... Yeah, I was gonna say... It, she, she was killed for overcoming a challenge, but it wasn't a reward. It wasn't meant to happen. That's just... But yeah, I'm, I'm glad I picked up about the cricket as well, though, with the, the the random vial with a cricket in. I'm just like, yeah, she was cricketed to death. Uh, thoughts on the 3D-ish change to character portraits? I love it. I loved the way the portraits were done in this. The, just that little bit extra animation. They did a really good job of not losing, like, the character style. But, like, adding a little bit more flair to it. Like, I love it. It was so cool. It was one of the first things I noticed. I was just like, oh, look at the movement. It's really cool. Really cool game, though. But yeah, I I should probably try and get some sleep now because I didn't sleep much last night. Um, I had my 20-minute nap earlier, which didn't really help. But I'm, I'm definitely tired. <laughs> I'm feeling very tired now. I've used up all the brain cells. I've got to replenish them through sleep. Maybe. I might sleep. Who knows? <laughs> My sleep has been all over the place recently. Hopefully it improves soon because I, I'm sure sick of not sleeping. It's not fun. <laughs> but yes, that is all from me for now and I will be back next week. And next week is going to be interesting because I have a couple of interesting streams planned and I've been planning for a little bit. I hope they work out all right. I hope they work out all right. One of them is going to be a music stream. I'm going to be doing a an experimental music stream on Tuesday. And the theme is I try to make music. I'm going to try and make something that sounds good. I've not fully narrowed down what or how yet. I just want to make some kind of music that sounds good. That's my goal. <laughs> I'm going to be like experimenting and learning how to use programs I've never used. So I think that'll be fun. But it is something I've never done before, so we'll see how well it goes. Maybe maybe I'll discover my hidden talent for just creating absolute bops. Maybe I'll just write 12 songs and become a hit producer. I don't it, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. I've I've got my programs downloaded, I've opened them and fiddled around a little bit, but I've not done too much. So it is going to be like a really fresh experience on Tuesday. Like, what am I going to make? Maybe it'll be good? Who knows? And if it all goes wrong, I can do good old fashioned manual music with my recorder and my automata. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, let's find a rage target. Let's see who's online. The answer is many people. There are many people online. Who do I want to raid? All of them. <gasps> Wait! Oh! <gasps> Wait, how long's he been live? Not super, super long? 
Considering I'm using my chibi model today, I feel like it would make sense for me to raid the amazing artist and rigger of this model. Because Dog with Socks is live! Playing... Wow, wow, wow! Corona box? Oh my god, it's a little Corona game. This is so cute. What the heck? Yes. I'm gonna raid Dog. <laughs> my favorite Dog with Socks. <laughs> But uh, here is... Wait, did I change the raid message from Family Friday? Uh, uh, I did! It's a raid message! If you're subbed, we got fire! If you're not subbed, we still got fire! Because it's burned on the, the funerary fire. Uh, oh, I think Spider left the comic to antagonize Sun. Yeah, I, looking at it like now, knowing who Spider is, that was a taunt. That was... That was making fun, like, haha, I'm out of here, you can't find me. <laughs> that was left behind in the printing house so that when they go in to try and, like, look for clues, they're just gonna find that and know that he's left and that he's gone. Like, <laughs> it's so sneaky. It's, I love it. It's so good. <laughs> L to Sun, yeah. <laughs> Man, imagine apprehending the wrong person and then going into the area they were hiding out and just having like a child's comic addressed to you going haha look how stupid you are <laughs> Oberon's awful it's okay he got pushed off a cliff we're, we're fine it's karma karma comes around anyway I'm gonna actually set up the raid now before I before I never sleep all night because I'm I would probably do that. I would get very distracted and not realize it's 6 a.m. until it's 6 a.m. <laughs> but there is the raid. We're going along to the lovely dog with socks. Please wish him the best for me. He's the one who made this model. It's I like to be chibi. I don't even know why I started with the chibi model for these streams. Oh no, I do. It's because of this. I did not get this out all day today. Maybe that's why it took me so long to find things. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie, my bad. It's fine, next time, next time I will remember. I will remember, I promise. <laughs> but yeah, this was really fun. I'm so excited to do the other DLC next week, but for now, I must sleep. So yes, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. It's been a lot of fun. I hope everyone has a lovely, I was gonna say rest of the week. It's like the end of the week. Just lovely. Everyone have a lovely, please. <laughs> Just have a lovely. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. And until next time, bye-bye.